Hello. That's muted. There we go. There we go. Hello, everybody. And he's uh, arrived. <laughs> yes, uh, we're back for some more arena testing uh, between the uh, the standard intelligence crew here. I've got John on the other side of the battlefield, and uh, yeah, we're just going to go through some some standard matches. Obviously, you're viewing from my side. Uh, if you use the exclamation point dex command in the chat, you'll be able to get up our deck list that we're currently using for this match over on Stream Decker. Mine we don't know what we don't yes. know what we're playing. Yes, and I've got some serious surprises for you tonight, John. You I, say that. You say you've got some surprises. Yeah, yeah. All right. I'm I'm now really worried that we're both going to be doing the same surprise. And I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Let's just say that last the last time I did this, they were fairly serious decks. This time, my three are like they're fairly off the wall. Okay, okay. Well, we'll we'll see how they do against this particular uh, yes, field definitely. that I have put together. Um, and let's jump definitely. into the direct challenge. Uh, challenge match, best of three. Your name. oh, hang on, I might need to double check that one. That I have said it as a best of three. Actually, yeah, that's a good it's... point. Tricky. It actually it's tricky. really annoys me that they can't I don't know. Best of, remember. So, challenge match, best of three, coin flip, right? That's uh, what you see yours yes. to be? Yeah, yeah, that's the that's okay. the ticket, John. Yeah. Okay. Hey Loki. How's it going? Um right then. Let's uh let's play some magic, shall we? I see Loki, when you say spicy, you actually mean really spicy. Uh when I say spicy, I just mean I'm going to try and throw John a nice little curveball that he may not be expecting. Oh, play first. That seems lovely. Oh, oh that must be nice. You're so close to being a good hand. Three of our best cards in our opening hand here, but... Oh, okay. So, uh, yeah, this hand seems keepable. We're on the draw. We're, we're definitely keeping this, but, I mean, minor tilt. Minor tilt. I think we're going to throw that one back. Okay, right. Okay, so we have... This doesn't look... What? This <laughs> is like one of the decks you played last week. Okay, that's fine. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Uh, okay. I'd love to believe you and sure. Okay, this... <laughs> sure, okay. I guess that's the game we're playing today. I, I'm okay. now really worried that I'm just not going to draw my spice. I just worried that I'm not going to draw third land again. <laughs> that's my concern uh, come on come on you know you want to uh, yeah that's fine that resolves <sighs> can't counter that with mountain fielder ruin I so want to take it chat it's not Buggers. actually that much worse than like taking a land here doesn't actually super help us cast oh I suppose it does it does okay I'm going to be good chat Super it's taking a land. Yeah, super serious, you guys. I'm being super serious, despite the fact that I've now seen two of my best cards just go right on by. That's fine. They can stay there. That's not a problem. They can stay on the bottom of your deck in a hole. Okay, so we haven't drawn a third land, which is good. We're doing well so far this game. Okay, it's now I'm well. super glad I took a land. Uh, oh dear. Because we're just going to be staring me. at each other for a little while now. Uh, yes, we are. I agree because I still haven't hit my third <laughs> land drop. <laughs> like, oh come on! <laughs> I up the la I up the land count to twenty five lands specifically because of this. Yeah. Oh wow, this is uh, it's going well. Uh, no. Sure, sure. You oh, can take a shot. Oh, are you just going to shock me so you don't have to disco? Okay. Yeah. Okay. We hit. We hit a land. We hit a land. Uh, it's all good. Uh, really. Yeah, uh, and we're going to start off with this one, because I know how much the sure. red decks hate this card. Yep. Oh, we, well, we hit the land. You got the land? Okay. Yep. I mean... Are we going to get Sarkand here? Is that is that what's going on? We're getting Dragoned. No? Ooh. Oh, Lava Coil and Shock. Wow. I don't like... It, it's one of those things I have to yeah. do. Yeah, oh, me. absolutely. It's like... ridiculously painful, because it's like a four for one, basically. Yeah, I'm massively far behind. I only have I missed so many land drops, which would have been really helpful to hit. Didn't happen, so pfft, YOLO. Oh, absolutely. No, absolutely. Got to get them good at some point. Regisaur Alpha, sure. It's a little bit like, had I hit my land drops, this game's probably a game. Yeah. Um, 
I'm, um, I'm, I'm going to be honest. I'm just going to concede this one because yeah. I've not hit another land. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> I, hit tw I have 25 lands in this deck. I kept two on two lander, three interaction spells on the draw. It's like, ooh. Okay, so I oh, definitely need don't this. have a clue what John is definitely need really this. up to. Yeah. I'm going to bring those in out of just general principles and take him out on the fact that I think he's kind of rubbish. And then probably just that. As... No, actually, because I'm worried it's dragons. We'll keep the collision colossuses in in case it's dragons. Well, hopefully I get to show you more of the deck this time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, my. I that was you. horrible. Yeah, like, I know. That... that was It was such awful TV as well. <laughs> We might have to do this match and then do it again. Yeah, just absolutely. This is like I'm not. I am not against that in the slightest, <laughs> mate. Oh, that was nasty. That was right. Let's see if we can actually play some magic this time. You've so right. you reckon, Loki, that you've got a competitive and spicy deck. I've seen a few of them about, so I I believe you that they exist at the moment. This is that's just. Oh, come on. Well, this sounds keepable, but we might run into the same problem that we don't hit our fourth land drop. Which is fine, actually. Oh, yeah, you know what? We're keeping it. Um, we're gonna say yeah, this has gone well so far for us. The great TV, this one from uh, MTG yeah. Arena Shuffle. Loving it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We're going to send the stomping round back and then, yeah, the overgrown tomb because I don't have any black spells that aren't dinosaurs, so the unclaimed territory is going to be fine. Yeah. Mm, be crack fine. on then, sir. Fine. Okay, well, we will at least get to show you our spice. It will just not be very good. Well, I need to hit a third land drop uh, in a 25 land deck. Again, that's uh, that's a worry. Got there? Off you go. Oh, no. Oh, come on. Last game, we couldn't find a single... Well, actually, we went past them, so... I didn't <laughs> think that card was legal yet. No, it's not, but this is a challenge, so oh, I can sure. play it. <laughs> That's fair. I mean, I'm, I've not hit any lands in this game, so this yeah, one might I know. Be this very is quickly. such a non-game now. Yep, uh, it's fun. Yeah, we'll we'll play we'll play it again. We'll play it again, and we'll actually get to see what your deck is doing. Okay, we drew a land. What do we want to do? Let's uh, let's just get rid of this. Let's not mess around. Seems reasonable. Like it's just one of those things where I kept a reasonable hand and just unfortunately didn't get there. Uh, he's got another one. Oh my god, you really you drew three rampages. I drew three of them this game, yeah. What the hell? I'm just not drawing any lands. Ooh. Hey, Sinian. How's it going? Uh, yeah, Loki, send, send it on over oh. to me. Um, and I'll, I'll definitely have a look. I like Spice at the moment. Spice and standard is pretty cool. Pretty cool. No, there's nothing I can do. I haven't drawn any lands. No. Nah. Cast any spells this game. Quit it. We'll, we'll try it again. We'll try it again. Yep. Yeah. That was a good start. 32 to 9 with it. That's a pretty decent record, Loki. Well, let's just queue that one up again. Yep, absolutely. It was a. Uh... <sighs> wow, that was yeah. That well, was, this that... is it. Both games, you just completely died on land, so it's not yep. even worth and even. I'm keeping two and I'm keeping two and three landers on a twenty-five land deck. Mm. So like, I should find my lands, mm -hmm. and it shouldn't be that much of a problem. Oh look, we've got three lands in our opener. We'll um, keep this one for this deck. This is basically a perfect hand, so we're gonna keep good. That. Crack on, sir. Oh, I think I shall. Um. Yeah, go on, Loki. What's the What's the general premise of the deck? So, actually, if you've got a link to it on like a a deck building website or something, post it. Why not? Yeah, but I'm having obviously I'm in the middle of a match. I don't particularly want to jump out to grab whispers and like. Three quarters of all of my screens are currently being used to do things. <laughs> That's fair. Because John's face is actually on another one. If you can see my mouse hovering over John's nose there. Um, <laughs> suddenly John's like, must scratch nose. Must scratch nose, get him. Uh, must get them dead. Okay, Ferocidon. We're playing okay. magic now. 
Okay. Oh my goodness, we we've we found a fourth land. Yep. Yeah, I'll take one. Found a fourth land, we found something to do with our mana. Right then, let's have a little look at this. No, that's not where I wanted you to go, deck. There's a reason I clicked on a different thing. Ooh. Ooh, green white flash, you say. Oh, that's a Chandra, that's not good. Uh... Put it this way, Jack, it was good. I found my lands this game. Yeah, right. It's good. I feel like a powerful wizard in this one. Now I get to draw two cards a turn. Must double block. Oh, maybe not. I'm sure I just click, 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 and it just didn't record me clicking on Ferocidon, which is always good. Like that. Thanks, Deck. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Oh, you lose a life. Yes, I'm winning. Maybe not. <laughs> Still winning. Okay, so let's plus this. But Loki, I can totally oh see. I can totally see that that is just a deck that no one understands what it's doing. Or like certainly in game one, and then I imagine a lot of the time, still in game two, they're a little bit unsure of what's going on. Oh, this is gonna hurt you so bad. <laughs> Oh uh, dang! You didn't. You didn't make the dudes. You should have made the dudes and taken four for the pleasure. Yeah, my arena's been really bad tonight for taking click actions because your Ferocidon should have been dead that last turn, that last game, that last attack. But it's fine. I still haven't drawn a fifth land. We're going well. <laughs> It was more that the Chandra stops you killing my other Chandra this turn through yeah. just for Ophidon attacks, which is relevant. Yeah, no, absolutely. So absolutely. It's it's reasonable. Uh it's not ideal, but we're not at the it's not the end of the world yet. And this was what we said is for Ossodon is pretty much is a pretty good vanilla three three that just happens to do more. Yep. In a lot of matchups. Which is also another interesting way of looking at this matchup. It's like it's a three-three that fits really nicely in the curve mm. when you don't draw, like when you don't have your um, your two drop and you're like on a removal spell in, like when you're on commune, like tap land commune dinosaur. It's also quite nice when you get later on in the game you can double three. That is a shifting spiritops. I agree, sir. I think I'm just going to not attack, not lose my ferocity on this turn just really stops you like it really hampers you doing anything okay that's quite a good draw actually loki i i don't know we discussed it oh that is a good draw uh we discussed uh, it this week really on, good uh, draw. on the podcast i think both me and john actually quite like the unbanning of ferocidon um i i initially this is a really good turn jesus <laughs> what <laughs> just happened <laughs> I haven't drawn any lands, but Chandra's getting me there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just a tad. What? What was that? That was insane. Uh, that was quite good, actually. Ooh. Because the Feroc your Ferocidon is less scary as just a 3-3. Three, three. The Shifting Ceratops, because it can gain many, it has many more rules stacks, like Trample. Uh, it gets Trample, which is a problem. Yeah, abs no, Getting absolutely. Getting rid of that straight away is really good. And if you're if you're winning off of of things like Chandra Ultimate, um, yeah, then you don't care about putting creatures on the battlefield at this point anymore. No, not at all. Um, and the devils are doing quite good work at the moment. Like being also being able to make another devil, which was really good. Yeah, that was pretty pretty good. Not gonna lie, that was pretty good. Uh, it, and it's yeah. one of those strange ones where I'm actually winning the damage race, <laughs> as strange as it sounds. Yeah. Sure. Resolves. Yeah, mostly because of my own rampaging Ferocidons. But then it's one of those strange matchups where it's actually been a negative for you to have that. Yeah. I think. Hey, GP. Yeah, I saw that you moved to Germany. Uh... I So, Loki, I do see what you're saying. That, like, having a variable ban list in Standard makes it feel really weird. But having any ban list in Standard was not good in my opinion. So, either way, it kind of felt like they were, you know, effed. 
Um, yeah, it, it's a strange one just because it's like you put yourself in a position. <laughs> yep, take two. <laughs> this hurts so much. Yep. Um, it's fine though, right? It, it's not that much of a problem. Yeah, like you're not a regular red deck, so. No. And I think I need to start attacking this Chandra with stuff. Um, so, yeah, Loki, on the on the point of the unbannings, I think we quite like it for shaking up standards. I don't think it was necessary. I also don't think it's going to super matter because, well, mostly because Watsy hasn't supported any major, like, any no blocks. premier. Uh, ooh. Okay, I'll take six here. That's yep. pretty bad for me. Yep. I hadn't even thought about that. Yeah, okay. Now the devil's definitely getting for... Th oh, I am dead. And I am dead. Yeah. We hit our lands and we did something other than die. Yeah, absolutely. No, you had me under total control that game. It was it was Chandra down... It was the Chandra 3 down ticking twice on removal spells. Yep. Was so good. Yep, absolutely. Okay, then. We know what's going on now. I'm basically playing He's Mono Red Chandra. Yeah. Is is pretty much the deck I'm playing. Uh, ugh, what do I want? Wait, mm. oh, so, yeah, so this is more more where we play an actual game. Yeah. <laughs> it's like let, let, let's play actual magic this game. No, you know what? I quite like those. I think um, this is going to be about feature combat to a certain degree. There are no good hits for that, so I think we're just going to take it out. I think that's the adjustments. It's not great, but our deck is definitely not set up to fight Big Red. No, and and for that's this, this is the sort of thing where Frostodon is just is in some ways a vanilla three three on my part because I don't make that many creatures. Yeah, that's true. Actually, let's take those out. Let's take a couple it, of those out. Uh, and and like if you have something like Brontodon in your sideboard, it's just going to be better because it has four toughness. Yes, I have lava coils, but it's a three four rather than a three three. And yeah. the the menace isn't always relevant. No, as we saw there, especially against the. Oh, okay, I'm going to keep this. It's a little risky, but we've got a commune, so it's pretty good. Right, menace red always... source. Red source. That will do. That's a red source. <laughs> we like red sources. I have a red. I, I have a red I, source. I'm more, I'm more interested in a brown source. I have a red source. source. Yeah, you do indeed have a red source. That's a very nice mountain, by the way. I know. I'm. I'm basically apart from the swamp. I have all the full art basics now. No. Oh, okay. We're fine. God damn, damn it! <laughs> what is this? What is this? A rampaging ferocious dawn. Don't know why I kept that card in, but hey, what do I know about magic? Hello, Sahili. Uh-huh. How much do I care about punching Sahili for three here? I kind of feel like I, I care a reasonable amount. Now you've seen Sarkin in the deck. Yeah, exactly. Like, it combos really well with Sarkin, for obvious reasons. All right, we're going to do this, and we're going to name the dinosaurs. Everybody do the dinosaur. Sorry. Yep. That's fine. That is fine. Um... No, I was mostly apologising for my singing. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Obviously, we have to kill that this turn. Duh. Yep. Yep, yep. And first the turn. And oh, we're getting there. We're still. We're still. It's still close. Okay, like, Rip Jaw Raptor can be a bit of an annoyance to deal with. Yeah, that is also a really good draw. Yep. Resolve. Resolve. Did you have the land for it, or was that the, which? Which did you draw for I, the turn? I drew the land for turn. Ah, that's fine. Once the job started, turn. you got to keep um, doing it. Otherwise, it no. makes that attack earlier just useless. Yeah, of course. Like it. 
until until the point where it's like obvious that I'm never getting through to the planeswalker, but I can attack you and maybe get some value out of that. Like that's when maybe you start changing your plan. But yep. for the moment, that's a that's a Durgan. He's a Durgan. He's a, he's a Durgan. Uh, he's a Durgan. How do I want to do this? I wanna. Attack there, attack there. Uh, block, block. You kill Sark and you lose your 3 3. That's pretty much all that happens in this attack. Do I get to do that? Block here, block here. Yep, I still get to do that. Card. Yeah. Unfortunately, it's not an optional trigger, that one. Nope. <laughs> nope, not so much. Uh, yeah, okay, there's... Oh, I, there is something I can do about that. Hmm, I'm being silly. No, you can, col you can Colossus and trade. Well, I can Collision and kill it. Sure. And keep my Dino alive. That's fine. That's reasonable. Uh, but unfortunately, I drew I drew the sixth land after combat, so I couldn't play oh. play the the ceratops pre combat. Yeah, I think we might be out of this one, unfortunately. Yeah. Dinosaurs. Yeah, yeah. I, I, it's like it's the whole play draw differences all the time, like with these matchups, because it is so much reliant on can you get ahead or not. Yep. Right, oh, absolutely, on. absolutely. Mm. I have so few actual catch-up mechanics. Uh, Sheepy, thank you very much for that Twitch Prime That's sub. Fine. Really appreciate it. Seven months. Pretty, pretty, pretty impressive. good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Give me them Bezos bucks. We'll take it. We'll take it. Let's have another go. Well, at least we've played two actual games now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel, I feel a lot better about... Um, Loki, thank you for the cheer. Ooh, there's a pride flag cheer? That's kind of cool. I did not even realise that existed. <laughs> no, thank you very much for the bits, Loki. Really appreciate it. Um, appreciate right. the support. I would like to go on the play. I will not keep that hand. That only has one land in it. This hand is much better. This hand has spells. That hand. That hand is a good hand. Well, all right. Okay, I just looked at my lands. The hand is an okay hand. Well, I'm mulligan to six, and I'm happy with my six. It does spell things. I think we're going to bin that one, which may seem a little weird. <sighs> yeah. <coughs> yeah, absolutely. I'm hoping to get more back into the streaming. There's just been a ton of stuff going on. Um last couple of weeks i've been like in ireland for the world science fiction convention you've been uh, a busy man yeah absolutely um and then obviously i had to spend a ton of time training john you know my new car yeah because i'm so bad at You're this so bad at it yeah oh it's terrible <laughs> um but Can't no, realistically, a lot of my a lot of my time has just been taken up with like annoying real life stuff i actually finished my phd recently like it's donezo so that's, oh nice yeah i don't know if i yeah it's like the paperwork is going to be coming at some point in the next few days so it's kind of weird that i i'm like i don't want to super talk about it <laughs> too much in yeah, case it goes fair. away again yeah uh, they but, took my paperwork away um but but yeah technically i am done i'm so it's dumb with science good. uh brr, brr, we could go that into that that's not a bad turn, I suppose. Yeah, I quite like that. Uh, Blood Crypt allows us to play this. And we're going to go Otapek. Yep. Marauding. Yep. Good, good, good option to play them that way round. Yeah. <laughs> you are going to love this turn, though. Oh, dear. I'm worried. Oh, no. Oh, 
and then down tick, get it back and kill my other one. Tilt! Yep. <laughs> yeah, congratulations, I'm a powerful wizard. I, yeah, no, that's getting yours as well, man. That's, nice, that's well done, amazing. Sheepy. That's excellent to hear. Yeah. I'm just trying to hope that this slows you down on mana. Oh, yeah. It, it, uh, actually, it, it wasn't too, too bad until I drew what I just drew, and now I'm really annoyed. Uh, <laughs> Good, excellent, because I'm guessing that's a Regisaur Alpha that's in yeah, your hand it was. right now. Yeah, yep. I just drew a Regisaur Alpha, and now I'm like, Good. Oh, God damn it, if I'd had two extra mana. Tower of uh, Tilt. Yeah, I'm going to fire this off now, and we'll see what we hit. Okay. Oh, all right, fine. We'll take another one of those. this one both of them do yep. a lot of the same removal spells apart from lightning strike but this one at least gets through a single blocker so Ugh, i don't do this uh kind of doesn't the germ uh, i'm assuming that they're all germans sheepy because the german system is more similar to the american is my understanding so they stay in uh like education for longer because they've got more stuff to do with it my understanding is actually uk phds are fairly lowly regarded in you know in comparison not that i care i, I call myself doctor and i'm happy with it Extra year of uni, that's what it is. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh-huh. I did not like that. But we're going to take out this Chandra. I think. Yeah, let's take out this Chandra. Just more because she's pumping stuff, everything. Oh, National Service. That's what does it for them, of course. Yeah, I hadn't even considered that. Okay, well, this will be a good turn. No, oh, dear. Uh, land. Big oh, Mama Chandra. God, no. And then you, uh, have we to, get to... Well, you get to kill your own servo, which I'm happy with. Yeah, so it's not like if you draw the land for bread uh, for No, didn't didn't get there. Tilt. Okay. We're still in the game. But we do we do have a a, a one two play. A pretty good game. follow up. Yeah, yeah I agree. It's, not bad. it's pretty it's good. Not bad. Uh, now but obviously, yeah, if I'd just been able to go land there, attack with the three three, kill the Chandra, that would have been. Uh, actually, no, it's fine because I can kill everything again. Although yeah. down ticking Chandra is not ideal. That's fine. Let's just get kill. Let's just kill everything you own again. Oh, uh, yeah, maybe that's why I didn't know about it, Sheppy, because uh, I've got rid of it. Ooh, Chain Whirler. That's an interesting one. Pretty good against my Registrar Alpha, I will say that. Oh, don't blow up my black sources. That's mean. That's entirely uncalled for. Watch, watch me draw. No, but it's fine, like... If you draw if you draw a source to play Register Alpha, I just block it. I can block with Chain Whirler still. Yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. No, no, no. I was going to say, watch me draw the rotting Register. I'd be unable yeah. to play it. That would have been so bad. good. <laughs> I would have been so happy if that was the case. Problem is, we're now drawing a lot of these. It's fine. Like we've got the board reasonably locked down at the moment. Right, you can attack for four. That's fine. Oh, I'm an idiot. My other Register Alpha in hand gets haste. It certainly does, I agree. That was dim of me. You're a powerful wizard. I am a powerful wizard. How do we win this one? I could have totally just taken out that Sahili. That was that was big punts. Yeah, yeah, I need to get a punt counter for the stream. Um, yep. Ooh, hello. You'll do. Resolve. Of course. Yes, haste. Has to attack us. That's fine. Okay. Yikes, it's a lot of attackers. Uh, uh, what's the worst? If you have... Uh, well, Chandra's doesn't do it to kill the Registrar Alpha. 
yep, okay, I think we can get away with this this turn. I don't particularly want to start trading off my 3-3s three just yet. Go all face? Uh, yeah, I suppose as John's really only drawing one a turn, the chances of Sahili really going off is pretty slim. Um, I, I guess I could have ignored there. I, I have been told that I am insufficiently aggressive in the past uh, when I was doing coaching, when I was having coaching. That was definitely a thing that came up multiple times. Right, there's another 4-4. Four, four. Oh, that's a, that's a good draw. Yes, I agree. Right. How much am I attacking you for this turn? 12 there. 16, 23. You'd have to block some of it. You'd actually have to block a fair amount of it, which means that I can just attack you and Sarkin can't technically kill me. No. I only have 11 damage on board. Yeah. On the way back. Oh yeah, of course you do. Do do do. Yeah, I think we go we go dome here and just try and end this. Mhm. Mm Cause this this forces you to make some annoying blocks. I think. Oh no, it doesn't because obviously Not the really. ping means that you get to kill register alphas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or the ceratops. Let's just resolve all these. You might as well, yeah, just resolve them all. Like, yeah, <laughs> you're I, gonna draw I clicked a card. resolve on the first one, and then it was like, wait a minute. Yeah, that's fine. That resolves. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm going to pass the blockers. All right, this can block this. This can block this. Block. Okay. Oh, tilt. Okay, we're looking for you to not draw like a shock or a lightning strike here. Yeah. To end the you game need me on the yeah. spot. Uh I could have given it vigilance. I was more interested in giving it uh trample though. But yeah, I should have theoretically given it vigilance. That being said, it wouldn't have changed anything. You probably should have killed Sarkin. Yeah, I think I was overcorrecting for the last turn. Where I should have just gone dome. It's fine. Like, it might not matter now. That's annoying. How do I have to block this turn? Okay, so shoot everything, gets to block register alpha, gets to block that. I only get in. I go to one. Yeah, exactly, which means you get to lethal me on the way back. You're dead on the way back. You have to kill Sarkin this turn. Yeah, so you have to trade off two of your. You have to trade off two of your creatures this turn and hope I don't draw a burn spell. Or a Chandra. Yeah, but I have yeah, I have to trade off two of my creatures to kill the Sarkin. But then again, but but you could draw two cards. You're about to draw two cards. Yeah. But there's not enough in my deck that I think kills you. But you, you can find it. But you can. Uh, but you get. But it means you can't. I can't kill you on the way back. And if you find a blocker on the ground, I can't kill you without um, another Sarkin. Yeah. But then that doesn't do it either. So you have to attack with everything. You draw two cards. The, the uh, drawing I get to... two cards is definitely making this palatable, I will say that. Yeah, no, for sure. Like, it, it's fine. Like, you draw two cards. If you find a ground blocker, it's great for you. Yeah. Like, I get to do some, like, don't get me wrong. My blocks are incredibly favorable because yeah. of how they tr how they line up. But I lose my Sarkin. I don't have lethal on the way back. And if you draw a... Okay. Um... I didn't draw something that could block this turn, unfortunately. Right. So, uh... Yeah, that was, that was me play... playing dumb. It's fine. Like, it probably doesn't... It, like, I still need to find something. Uh, discard this mountain. Regulator is good times. Next. Um... How do I lose this game? You find another Register Alpha. Well, it kills me anyway. 
No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. No. Not at the moment, at uh, least. Right, let's go... Right, let's put the lethal in the air. Your go. Uh, if we'd hit a dinosaur there, I think we we would have killed you. So you did have the register alpha. I had the I had drawn the register alpha last turn. Yeah. Um, oh sure. Yeah, yeah. And so if I if I'd drawn a dinosaur that I could cast here for three because I've got two lands, you kill there, me. I get yeah, to yeah, kill yeah. you, but sure. as it is, I die in the air. Yeah, yeah. Because so, I get to block here, block here. Go to one. Yeah. Survive at one. Yep. And then punch me for four in the air. And I die. Yep. Uh, I'm just going to send Yeah, it. yeah, yeah. There was... Uh, I had a few draws, but I also completely misplayed that. So I don't... I don't feel like that matchup was terribly against me. But I do agree no, with I think it was really definitely interesting. about who can get on board first. And that's... Yes. Yeah, of course. It's not super fun to play those matches, if I'm being perfectly honest. Like yeah. the, oh, I just got ahead and so I won yeah. kind of games. It's... But that, but that's kind of how Jun Dinos works in a nutshell yeah. oh, sometimes. Yeah. yeah. Like, right. that's kind of what can just happen. Yeah. But but that just gives you an idea of how, of what you can do with these matchups. Yep. Um, it, and I think it was that, it was very much a... Having Sarkin in play for two turns because you didn't kill it, you went for the massive attack. I had the removal spell made it so good for me. Yeah. yeah because I, I was able, because I was able to go, block, 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 block. Done. Thanks very much. And kill, it, uh, kill three of your things for free. Yes. And because obviously blocking the Ceratops for first strike, it means that you can't trample over any damage. Mm. Which means I went to nine. And even with the other, the next set of register alphas, it's still quite good for me because the chain world had blocked so efficiently. And I, it, I think it was being able to down tick Chandra twice and kill four creatures with her. Plus, obviously, the chain whirler in this in the, in that game as well was really good because it allowed me to to keep up because you were making so many things. Yes. Like that wasn't funny, dude. It was not funny how many things you made in that game. <laughs> <laughs> Nice right things. then, are we on to match Deck two? two? Yeah. Yep. Right. Give me a second. I just need to. I am going to make myself. Hmm. Hmm. Right then, this one. This will be less surprising and probably a lot less interesting. But. Um, really? Loki... I don't know that. Absolutely, I will try for it because that's the sort of player I am. I will also almost never make it. Like I have, I have no illusions that I am one of the top forty-two players in the world. So, I will play a lot of Magic on Arena. I will never be a rival. That is, just you're just playing it. You're just playing it against Scrubs, mate. Oh, that's the difference. Uh, my apologies. I ended up with the same deck for some reason. All right, let's concede this. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll yeah, I'll concede. That's fine. <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> yeah, I don't know you're why. Gonna... Why I didn't change there? I must you were, have clicked the wrong button. You were going to play me some Jun some dinosaurs. Yeah, exactly. Which I really like this deck, but at the same time, that's not the purpose of tonight. So. Yeah, that is judge. Yeah. <laughs> My opponent's not playing fair anymore. Mm, can we? Can we please change this? Mine's loaded in, so I'm good to go when you are. Yeah, I know. I get the feeling that it doesn't like the Ferocidon in this deck. Are you playing three decks with Ferocidon? No, only two. Uh, only two. <laughs> My bad. Only two. <laughs> what are you? What is your problem, game? Like seriously, what is your? Have problem? you changed? Is it still set as best of um, best of three? Yeah. Okay. All right. Don't know then. Uh, I haven't got a clue what its issue is with playing this deck when it's like dinosaurs. Yeah, sure. Like, is there something else that's wrong with this deck? Maybe have a look. Have a look through the rest of it. We've got time. Which deck do you want to see Simeon? Simeon's trying to show us the deck again. I'm guessing it's yours, Jack, because mine's not that interesting. My mono red deck. <laughs> uh, although, Sahar, although Sahar would have been prouder of me. 
playing mono red with Chandra's. Yeah, absolutely. Been, like absolutely. literally the only person. Because it was play oh. Chandra's. I don't have experimental frenzy number four. That's Are you playing I mean. mono red? Yeah. I, and I, I thought I was. I, and I thought I was trying to have fun. Yeah, no, I want to see. I want to see what Frostodon does. Oh. But it was. <laughs> well, bear in mind after what after sets against mono red Chandra, I wouldn't really tell you how good it is. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Good. I get to go first again. Play first. Also, that hand I is really unkeepable. Like you super nice rare kitten. Uh, yeah, uh, level ninety four. Jeez, man, that's a lot of magic. Oh yeah, love it. Uh, I am going to keep this hand. Um, exactly, no this... fun for anyone. Mono red only. Yeah. Although Habibi MTG would definitely disagree with that sentiment. <sighs> I don't know. I feel pretty bad that you're playing this deck. I, like I say, I I kind of wanted to be like, hey, dude, should we test how standard's going to look with Ferocidon in it? And then I was like, yeah, but that gives away that I'm going to be playing a ton of Ferocidons. So, what is this hand? Yeah, I know. It's really like, good. What? <laughs> <laughs> it's really oh, that can go in the graveyard. I don't need an Agent of Treachery right now. No, I need to not die. Not. That card, uh, someone someone punked me hard with that card Yeah, I bet the other is. day. Like, took yep. my Teferi that was about to ultimate. Yep. And I'm like, oh, smack. This I'll, I'll ultimate your Teferi. Yeah. Fortunately, they took oh, it no. when it was on seven, and I managed to use my Noxious Grasp that was otherwise entirely useless on my own Teferi. But at the same time, I was like, feels bad, man. Definitely feels bad. I played the funniest game, though, speaking of uh, Agent of Treachery. I, um, I played a game where I... My opponent was playing Agent of Treachery, mm -hmm. and I commanded the Dread Horde back three of his things and drew three cards. Nice. nice. I was like, I am feeling good about my life. So, Tonebound Lich. That's an interesting one, because I've, I've gotten a lot of crap off people for playing that card. The card's really good in the deck that I'm playing. All right. I'm guessing there's graveyard stuff going on. Whoa, there's graveyard stuff going on. <laughs> I need to get to the point where I cast it, but we're getting there. Oh, don't get me wrong. If I it, I mulligan to six, I kept a good hand, and if I can find the, the it, if I can find one more land and the other piece, then oh. I'll be fine. I mean, if you want to skewer me, that's also fine. Yeah, I'm gonna skewer you. Yeah, it was. I I tried to cast it for its regular casting cost. Because that's a thing I'm allowed to click on. Okay, so this has to hit the bin. Make this cross our fingers. That's not that's not what I want. That can go on the bottom. Your go, sir. How yeah. dead is super dead? You're right. This is a this is a spicy reanimator list here that we've got going on. So it's the slightly worse version against specifically mono red, because you don't have Oath of Kaya in the deck. Like the the Esper version plays Oath of Kaya, so this matchup's a lot better. Mm. This is probably better against the generic mid range list because you're playing Tamio, and Assassin's Trophy. All right, I'm at four. Well, I might be dead here. But... That's fine. Like you had an insanely good hand for this game. Yes, I did. Let's not let's not uh, muck about. My right. draw was pretty good. We're not dead yet. Uh, no. Both of these cards don't actually do anything, so they can both go in the graveyard. Did we draw anything? Uh, nope. Your go, friend. Have you got a shock or anything? No fun for anyone. Uh, that'll do. Yeah, yeah. that's fine. We'll we'll hmm. play some the the no, third, it's fine. The no, third it's fine. match is not red and it's not Ferocidon, so we'll play some real magic with that. Uh, for, it's it, still a little boring, but I also it's need fine. to test. That's it. not trust me, that ain't the problem. <laughs> <laughs> that weren't the problem in that game. Uh I can get rid of some of this nonsense now. I'm gonna turn I'll just turn to my mid range list, I think. I still need all of this though. Yeah. Like game one, you just don't have that much to do. No. 
No. But it's fine. Like after board, I get a lot more stuff, so we'll keep this one. I am a little bit like, do I go bigger or do I stay as low to the ground as humanly possible? Because um, I'm definitely not going to win a long game here. You you won't win the long game. No. No. Dracuseth will wrath your board. Will will wipe your board off the face of the planet and seven you and kill you in two turns. Yeah. So it's kind of like, yes, you can get you. You need to keep obviously the core of the deck in the frenzies, but things like Chandra just aren't good right now. I mean, maybe that's. So you're playing as a, a Saltai version of the list? Yes, I'm playing Saltai Reanimator. Uh, I wanted to try this version out over the Esper colors because the the problem with the Esper version is you don't really have like that much innate card advantage if you start running out of things. Mm. Um, you also don't have re that much removal for Planeswalkers. So this deck has up to four Assassin's Trophies. Yeah. You also get Tamiyo. So you get this really nice ability to um, play out a longer game. Because I've been playing with both of them, because they're both. Cause I've been playing the Esper Reanimator, and I have run into a lot of problems with just my opponent lands some planeswalkers and I die. Yeah. Uh, this one has trophy. It has uh, it has Tamio trophy, which makes it really resilient, and also your mana your mana slightly better. Uh, yeah, we'll keep this seven. This sounds so pretty good. So I I don't think you are, but at the same time, you could be playing the explore package in this deck in this no. deck i like i say i didn't end up thinking that you were but no. i didn't want to just get punked out by it so i've left a few ferocidons in sure um that's fine and that's that's a pretty good hand actually that's a that's a pretty decent hand yeah sure take one this is so weird i so rarely play mono red these days like it's been a good few years since I've played Mono Red. Like, properly. Oh, hello, Dracoseth. That's a... Yep. That's a spicy meter ball. Yep. Yep, cast your light up by stage. Dang straight. Oh, no, I know, so I played a game against a Mono Red player. It was so funny. My, I swear to God, my opponent. I, I, so he cast a light up the stage. Yeah. Uh, I then thought erasured uh, his light up the stage. So he had the the next one was in hand. So I thought erasured that as well. Mm. And then he drew another one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, really? <laughs> like he top decked the third one. I'm like, really? I've just taken the, taken you off this card. Like you can't have it again. Like I know exactly what I'm looking for. That is going in the graveyard. Crack on, sir. Mm. Like Turnbound Lich is like just a good card. I, it's like a fine mid range mid rangey card. Um, it also has Life Link for some reason because yeah, you know, you're Life low. Link and Death Touch. Death Touch is is a yeah, is a real it blocks really card. well. It's like if it, if you're playing against dinosaurs, this card's great. It's a three mana one three. You get to put a card in your graveyard, and then you get to kill something. And yeah. you're like you're using lightning strokes on it, which is great for me because it's saving me life. Oh, absolutely! It's, it's gained you three life there, effectively. Yeah. Um, but I I also know that I can't ever attack through it, so I do need to get it off the battlefield. I think I am going to. But yeah, I mean, obviously, since we, first. since we lost Gonti, we've had a, an absolute dearth of decent uh, death touches. Yep, agreed. And yeah, Time Bound Lich does does a pretty good impression. Right, that can go into play, and your go, friend. Oh yeah, no, I, I absolutely right, Loki. Like Gonti, Gonti was straight up insane. The first time I played against it in limited, I had to read it three times and go, yep. "This seems real dumb." Um, Gonti was most luxurious. <laughs> He was most luxurious. We did we did love some Gonti. Yeah. He was, one, he was wonderful. We love we love our Gonti. Ooh, that's an interesting point. Do I want to do that? What have we got going on in here? And how much does your reanimate cost? Reanimate costs five. What have we got going on in here? All right, let's punch you. Let's okay. Punch. I think what we want to do... I'll be punched. Be punched, sir. Yep, that's fine. I'll take one. we go to ten. 
Uh, sure. Yeah, I think we want to do this. Get the shot back. Resolves. Fine. Ah, resolves. Okay, right, cool. It's something, I guess. It's not great, but it's something. Perfect draw. Bond of revival. Oh, Get back, Dacus. God, I miss that. Yep. Uh, attack you. Uh, one attacker. Triggers! Deal four. Deal three. Deal three. Goodbye, board. Like I said, it'll get, Dacus Death kills you in two turns. <laughs> this card does not hang around when it enters the battlefield. Like, if I die this turn, that's fine. Nope, can't kill you this turn. I'm dead. And you can't and kill Dacus Seth either? No. Wow, oh, no, nice. Not even re remotely. Um, the problem there was I was sort of looking for my ways of dealing with Dracus Seth yes. in case you got it back, but obviously didn't hit it off the light up the stage. Yep. Uh, because I figured that if I had to try and like play Chandra to get back a removal spell from the graveyard, that was so mana intensive next turn, mm -hmm. like the turn after you played Dracuseth. Yeah, the um, problem is Dracuseth has haste. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, hey, it's that's the biggest chat. Like, so you, you there's so currently there's two reanimator spells in standard. One yeah. of them is four mana, which is you sacrifice another creature, you return a creature to play and a creature to your hand. That's fine. It's great. Yeah. The problem is, it's only that is good with things like bells and lock. It's good with uh, your agents of treachery. It's and not it's good, good with Dracuseth against mid range decks, right? It's good in yeah, a it's card advantage. Matchup. Yeah. It's really good in the, in the grinding matchups, yeah. but you want to play that in a more mid-range deck where you just naturally want to get things back. Yeah, this hand's great. This hand is way better than that last one. And hand is great. We play cardboard. Boys. We have a lovely life. We will be living a, some good times. Yeah, the Lava Runner is in. Uh, yeah, that is... Ooh, sheepy. That is a fine point, and I should have thought about that. The hijack. Yeah. So hijack. It depends. Like hijack is also a good card. Yeah. Uh, it's a straight. It is some. I. It's one I have to play around. Um, yeah. So it's kind of like, I'll take the punt. On I that. just. I'm, gonna... I'm just so used to only bringing in against big dumb green creatures. It's a big yeah. dumb creature. It's yeah, just ain't exactly. green. It just ain't green. Yeah. Uh, that can go to the bottom. Yeah. No, Sheepy, you're, you're absolutely right. No, good, Tana, good shout, Sheepy. I good am shout. Just, I am just way off it tonight. Just, uh, mistakes all over the place. It's an Ember Hauler. It's oh. an Ember Hauler. Oh, I'm going to take some damage, so... Um, I think I want to stop you attacking. I mean, please don't. Let's just kill the Ember Hauler. I'll take two. Fine. Yeah. Ooh, hello, Lotus Field. No, come on, Jack. Oh, uh, no. I've also so far managed to play this game without losing any life to my lands, which has been pretty good. Yep. Cool. That's yep, that's bad. fine. Yep. Sure. Deal. Uh, um, kind of feel like I'm gonna lose two here. A two. Um, I need to tap this for blue. Let's cast Charter Course. Yep. Ugh, yuck. So go on then. Why the uh, why the Lotus Field? Seems it's like just it. a one of. Yeah, but what's it? Pretty much it. it. Uh, I don't know. I I put as uh, I pulled the list from online, so hmm. I think that. So this is the this is the greedy play, but it might be a better one. Well, I only have one card in hand. Uh... Yeah, but it's the it's it's friend it's frenzy or something that's the problem. If you find yeah. it. Oh, absolutely. Sure. All right, you had a really, yeah, it's fine. Cool. No worries. You'll go. Right, I still need to find something to do. Also, I oh, know. So the other reason for playing Lotus Field is it allows you to cast your big spells as well. 
because it makes three of a three of a color, and Dracoseth is tri triple red. And oh uh, yeah, it means you can actually cast yeah. it as opposed to just yeah. Yep. Yep, that's fine. Uh, that's fine. I'm at five. Is there a Dracoseth in graveyard? There isn't. Nope. Okay. No, there's nothing okay at the moment. Playing this out then. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's grim. Uh, so. Oh, uh, yeah, sorry, the deck list one is showing that the old, my old Rampaging Dinos list. If you go, exclamation mark, decks, um, that should be our current lists. I don't really like this line, but it might be the one we have to do. We're going to have to go to three here. So, let's go all black. Am I getting swept here? No. Kill this. Kill this. Oh, okay. Hope we draw something, because we're at three right now. We are super dead, otherwise. Hello, Arena. I would like to do a thing. Oh, well. Okay, cool. <laughs> that, that also <laughs> works. That's fine. Right, yeah. that's, that's how the matchup is. So, uh, no, it runs no Alpine list in the sideboard. Uh, you, like, the... You beat zombies by being faster than them. And uh, you beat the you beat them. zombies by playing Dracuzeth and killing them. Yeah. Yeah. Um, like so, this one. Uh, so obviously, the deck I was playing uh, against Scapeshift. Like um, you have counter spells on the sideboard. You have uh, Dracuzeth in the main. You can pretty much fight them if you want to tailor the sideboard. You can do like this sideboard had un has unmoored egos. Which is probably your best answer to, um, yeah no so yeah I don't have I don't have any blood suns because I was in because um, uh, I'm in salt eye yeah. I don't have access to red mana so like unmoored ego is the color mm. but like the sideboard three disfigures two duress two veil of summer two negates two ashiok dream renderer which is so there's four cards in the sideboard for that matchup the unmoored egos and the ashioks yeah I actually really like ashiok at the moment. Yeah, and then you got a Carnage Tyrant and a Palaka Worm. I was actually hoping to find a Palaka Worm in that game. Oh yeah, that would be gross. So that's the fail. That's the that's the fail rate of your uh, reanimator decks is you don't run that many threats. Yes. To actually hit. Yeah. So that's something you have to bear in mind as well. That Should being we go said, on? like as soon as you have that solved, then the deck runs really nicely. So. Yeah, you see that in game two where we came back from being quite far behind. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. Just because things worked out in that game, had I have found a fatty, I had the Bond of Revival already, mm. so I could have, like, if Charter Course finds a, a fat creature, then I can Bond of Revival that and get that back into play. Especially for something like a Palaka Worm. Like, I probably should be playing a Pal second Palaka Worm over the Carnage Tyrant. Uh, I think I think with Frostodon coming back, that might not be a bad plan because of Red's increase, rather than it actually necessarily definitely gaining yeah. you life against Red. But that's like, the likelihood. The likelihood of people playing keeping Frostodons in against your reanimator list is also quite low. Yeah, like I say, the only reason I initially kept them in, I should have taken them out game three. Yeah, um, and brought your hijacks in, and brought the hijacks in. Yes. Yep. Right then, are we moving on to match yeah, get number match three? three? Yeah. So unfortunately, I don't own all the pieces for Kethis combo. I don't have any Mox Ambers or any or that many Kethis. I've never really been interested in building the deck. Yeah, I I I saw it on I think it was Jim Davis playing it, and I was like, oh, this is super duper cool, mm. ridiculous, super deadly, powerful. it's great. And I own basically none of the Mythics that you need to play it, and all of them rotate. Yeah, in the next this month. is so this cool. is pretty much the reason that the field of dead field of the dead deck I play is Yarok because yeah. most of it's in the most current sets and not rotating, and so I don't mind playing that. Yeah. Uh, pretty actually, most of Yarok doesn't rotate apart from the lands, and I already had the lands anyway, so it wasn't too bad. Um, the problem with Scape Shift is that it has a lot of cards, like it has four Scape Shifts, and I don't really want to be using four Mythic Wild cards on Scape Shift, which is why I've never played the deck. Which is why I play Yarok instead. Yeah. Yep, yep. Which has been great, which is good. But no, it's a good question. Right. Like, if you have access to the cards, do definitely consider it, but we don't, so we're not going yeah. to. Yeah. Like, Kethis combo is good. If you, I would say don't play Kethis combo. Like, 
you need to be really good at that deck. Like really good at that deck for it to be for it to be relevant. All right then, what are you playing in round three? Esper Tempo. Yep. Like I say, it's not interesting, but I do need to get my reps in with it before the. So draw. Spike Jack over here playing three relevant decks. I'm. D I am nothing <laughs> if not consistently a git. That's um, true. Okay. Okay. Like I'm playing three three decks. This one's an old. This one's a call back to an old deck. This one is. With some new cards in it. I'm I'm playing. Have you, have you, have you, and you now having mana problems? Yeah, I I don't have Excellent. Land three. Excellent. I'm going to play the hero. Excellent. Right so I'm going to then make my Jade Light Ranger. Yeah, obs, obs. Of course. Why would I not? Why would I not have it? Yeah. Uh, that can stay on the top of my That's library. That's a really good answer to my hero. Oh yes, and all the tokens as well. Yes, yes, and indeed all the tokens. Oh come, on deck. Go away. So, got an insect joined me. Do you want to play magic as well? <laughs> no. I think it's a I think it's a mono blue player. It doesn't really know what it's doing. Uh, I am going to Yeah, it's just attack with everything. Let's make you use something. That is fine. Right, seeing as I know John has removal for this hero in hand, I'm really tempted to just be like, let's just trade it off. But I think we're just going to put a 1-1 one -one under the bus and make him cast Legion's End. Into a Branch Walker? Into a Branch Walker? Make me sad? No, Legion's no, End. No, no, no. I'm, I'm definitely Legion's Ending at this, at this point. Yeah. Right, your hand well... is... I need so the reason for playing the wild growth walker is nice top deck. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the reason the reason for playing the wild growth walker in that position is that it means that if you have a Teferi in your hand, the Teferi and you well if you had a Teferi three and you hit the land, the Teferi yeah, dies. Then, yeah, I can't just like Teferi Ranger a uh, bounce ranger. No. Yeah. Exactly. So okay. that's one well, of three. I think I died. Well, you're not dead yet. You've got a couple of other cars, which is going to keep you in this game for a little bit. And I haven't hit a fourth land yet. Yeah, well, I haven't hit a third land. Uh, sure. I think I think we can call this one, and I'm going to sure. move on. Yeah, that's because fine. You, you have amassed both a decent board state and the ability to draw extra cards. The Esper <laughs> deck can beat one of those at a time. It yeah. cannot be yes. both. Yes, Loki, I agree. The Doctor can play what he wants, Maybe if he really much. wants to. Maybe. See, this is it. I've got chat looking out for me. The chat always looks out for you. Yeah, well, they're, 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 remember they're very they're very, very one-sided in this. <laughs> they're they're uh, you've trained them well, Jack. That's the problem. You, you've trained you've trained your chat incredibly well. Let's get rid of that. Uh, I don't. What do I want? I'll keep all of these still because they're all relevant cards. Uh, let's drop some of these. Let's go down to one of those. That's not a very good card. That's a terrible top deck. Uh, let's bring this in. Yeah, let's go with this. Your medium. Done. You're good. We'll have you. <laughs> it's Jack's stream, so yes, I, I know it's Jack's stream. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So it's probably why he's drawing so well in some of these games because the chat's someone in the chat's hack wizard hat arena's shuffling code. Yeah, there we go. And they just forgot to do it in that game, thinking they'd try and let Jack win an actual game. Uh, no. Yeah, band ramps very good. Band ramps are pretty good shout at the moment. I'm not, it it, I'm it, ans it answers the biggest problem that the mid range decks have against. Well, it has the two cards that answer the, that answer the problem that Scapeshift poses, which is its own Teferi to stop the Flash Scapeshift and Deputy of Detention. Yeah, beating an end of turn Scapeshift is basically impossible. Yep, it's really hard. Uh, the Band Ram list is very nice. Plus, Nissa is really good as well. Yeah. Nissa, well, Nissa 5 is a very good card. I, I kind of am um, sort of. Oh, you're a good hand. We will keep you. I'm, I'm sort of wondering if I should pick up some Nissas before they jump in price again, just because. Yep. I, That's an option. I I really do think that come post rotation they're going to look like some of the like Nissa into Hydro Crisis is still going to exist as a thing yep. to do. Yeah, and and this is also going to. It's also like Nissa into Finale of Glory and stuff like that into Finales. 
they're all existent decks. They're, they're all still existing. Sure. Oh, hello. That's a that is a hand that exists in a game of magic. Yep. I'm assuming if you've got the Teferi, you'll take the Noxious Grasp, but yeah, the Vivian, I think most but the of the Vivian time Magic it's just just thing. take the Vivian Reed. Yep. Um, that's yeah. Cool. Bye, Vivian. Huh. Well. Yeah, you know what? You can go in the bin. Thanks. So get this hand because it has two temples. Uh, so it's, And obviously being on the draw is really powerful for this deck as well. Uh, that's another land. So <laughs> both my temples are bottom land so far. <laughs> oh, dear. Um... Okay, well we're gonna we're gonna play this and we're just gonna let it go. There's okay. no point playing this right now. Well, let's see what you have. Uh, well, okay, maybe there was a point playing that. Um, I don't really <laughs> like thought erasure. Just doesn't matter. Yeah, that's that was kind of my thought. It was like I'll do it on turn four, or I'll do it with a Teferi or something to I to kind protect. Of feel but... That, that, but the problem is the way my hands coming together, like. I'm going to take the thought erasure here. Three foil Japanese nisses. Oh, nice. Damn. It's pretty damn nice. Son. Like, this, this this man is hit, sitting on some some amount of uh, monies. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And it's pretty good. Um, all right then. We know what's happening, but at the same time. Wow! Come on. Yeah, I that know. So <laughs> punish like that. Lit that is so punishing to the line I took. But it's fine. It's okay. It's all good. Uh, so that's not terrible. So let's not just grasp this. Get rid of this. Yeah, it's it's good. Go. Try and find a spell. Uh, let's get a shifting ceratops. That's pretty good. Yep. It says protection from blue. Yeah. <laughs> Looking at this hostage <laughs> no, taker. Yeah. Pretty rough, right? Yep. Okay, uh, yep. Well, hero's this, fine. This could be real bad. Oh, double hero. It's pretty good. Um, I think we are going to let's try and kill one of the. Let's just try and stop you just going off with heroes. Yeah, seems reasonable. Seems reasonable. Some of your draws have been like the two, the top two cards of your deck was like what? <laughs> <laughs> There's two heroes. What the hell? Right, I think we're just going to knock this out with an oath of Kaya. You, yeah. Um. You could just um, attack it. Oh yeah, of course I can. Yeah, of course I can. What am I thinking about? I am an idiot. Yep. Yeah, you are allowed a combat step. It is a it is a legal part of the game. <laughs> it is an allowed part of the game of magic. Yeah. People seem people seem to forget this when they're playing these decks. You are actually allowed to attack. <laughs> uh, this is actually super duper awkward. So we're gonna end the turn, I think. Okay. Right. Does my opponent have Divin's Veto? No. That's not fun. Because <laughs> one good tech, one the top deck deserves another. Um. Right. Okay. I guess yep. we have to deputy that and hope you just never draw a removal spell. Yep. That's also reasonable. Um, Conflict Diamond. Just let him cast different creature than Hostage Taker to deal with the Ceratops. Yeah. The Ceratops problem is he can win the targeted. game with just the Ceratops. No. Hostage Taker can't do anything to the Ceratops. Well, the, the, it's pro yeah. Blue. But what he's saying is, you play the Ceratops oh, yeah. and then you play another one, and I go steal the other one and cast it, and now I get to deal with the Ceratops. But sure. yeah, there's, yeah, yeah, sure. But there's just a ton of creatures that. A, don't deal with the Ceratops, or B, you wouldn't need to cast it until I dealt with the Ceratops anyway. Yeah. Uh... So, now I need to top it like a bit of a monster. <sighs> You're uh, telling me. That's... Could do with another well, one of those and another land. Well, let's just make the Ceratops anyway and pass the turn. Like, let's make a big blocker. Ooh, so close. So close to being good. Yeah, time raveler in resolve. Yeah, it doesn't do it a massive amount, but you yeah, you can bounce right. the, the bounce into zombies reasonable. Yeah, it's not that's nothing. Fine. It's not nothing. No, agreed. Pass to attackers, that's fine. I am tilt. I am just all of the tilt right now. 
Oh, okay. Oh, no. That's, it's not great. If, even if it's Rask of Four... It's five mana! It's good enough. Yeah, Please except say. that you have the uh, the answer to it. Do I? Well, you have Othakar in hand. Yeah, I do. Yeah. But I but still again, can't get at Nissa. Yeah, that's the thing, right? Nissa's still sitting in play. Hmm. Resolves, that's fine. Yep. Uh, do I want to keep letting you put your lands, turn your lands into something reasonable? <sighs> yeah, I'm going to let you do it. Wow. Yeah, I drew real well. Okay. Resolves. Jeez. And then we're going to kill this stupid Ceratops. Yep. So the reason I'm going after the Ceratops here is if I go after the Nissa, the Ceratops is still in play and is still a problem. Yep. Nissa is still in play and is still a problem, but Nissa's thingies can't actually get at either of my Planeswalkers now, and that's kind of how we're going to win this game. Yep, agreed. This deck does have basics, even if Arena is going to chug before putting it into play. Come on, Arena! Yeah, don't mind mine's, mine's flopping around as well. Right, we have a couple of very good top decks here. <sighs> that wasn't one of them. Hey, Conflict, how's it going? Like, it forces you to start blocking. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. If we could hit a You'll land go, friend. here. No, oh. no land. That's unfortunate. Come on. Yep. All right. We still have a couple of turns to draw something relevant. Uh, oh, I could get that now, in fact, with either that one or that one. I actually quite like this, because it gives me a token, and... No, I think we're I think we're alright. We, we're actually going to wait a turn. It's fine. Okay. It's going to be fine. Don't even worry yep. about it, you God guys. is fine. Resolves. I mean, it's just getting hard to attack. I need, the, the, I need to draw the best card in my deck. Nice seek. Oh, yeah, because you just drew that off the just top. Just drew that yeah. off the top with the guard mage. <laughs> okay, that answers some of my problems. Oh, that is definitely an answer to those two, yep. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Let's protect the Ugin. And do I want to... I think we're going to actually properly block something rather than double chump. Okay. Although if I double chump, I get to keep the Teferi and bounce something anyway. Bounce you lose your entire anyway. board, though. Yeah, like, it's not... And because you don't have Hero anymore. So, yeah. right, w when you lock in these blockers, I'll tell you how I would do it. I think it's like that. Yeah. Okay. So, I, w so, I would put one under everything. Mm -hmm. Because you have Oath of Kaya, and you kill two of my creatures with the Oath of Kaya. Oh, with the Teferi bounce it. Yeah, of course. Yeah, even though, and so you lose your Teferi anyway, but it kills everything. The fact that you've, yeah. It, it's it's just one of those things that 
I probably would have just thrown one under each. Sorry, I would, yeah, thrown one under each. Because your Rugen's making you a blocker every turn, you're going to oath two things anyway. It's just a, it's just a strange uh, an interaction. I probably would have just taken the fact that I could have you could have killed my board. Yeah. And obviously Ugin's just going to keep generating enough one enough two twos and one ones. It's yeah. just going to be very hard to deal with. And uh, you found the Noxious Grasp. Yeah, the uh, the two two had to die last turn because it has the Noxious Grasp under it. <sighs> right, knocking the top of the deck. So oh, that's not irrelevant. Right, send in the blow. Send in the clowns again. Yep, in two. Yep, done. Unfortunately, have not drawn my spells. Right, Let's see what this jade light finds. Uh, graveyard. Yep. Graveyard. Yep. Those two aren't doing anything right now. Uh. The fact you can take this hostage and cast it again is a little bit annoying. But... Yeah, I was going to say, I think I'm just going to take it and have it as my own. That's fine. That's fine. Like, I'm st I'm still drawing live. That is relevant to know. Oh, absolutely. Don't know how much it's going to do. Like, the fact you killed the Nissa was so annoying. Yes. Because it gave me a couple more draw, a couple more outs. Yeah, sure. That's fine. Uh, you can stay right there. You're good. Yep. Oh, that's annoying. Guess, it, yep. guess it's going under a 2 2 instead. Well, That's whatever. Fine. Better than it, it being it in the graveyard. It'll help me refill if you uh, manage to no. clear stuff off my battlefield. Yeah. And we found another land. Yep. Yeah, no. Okay. Cool, cool. Ooh. Hmm. Currently, just considering vetoes, elder spells, or duresses to bring in against you, I'm not 100% convinced on any of them. But the elder spell's not very good in this matchup. Don't think we need any of them. I think we just need to go. Uh, let's bring in the third one of those. Ooh, in. Loki. Um, I can't remember the exact turn, so I couldn't tell you exactly why I didn't just play the citadel. Um, you could have played it at any point. Yeah. I, I just kept feeling like there was better stuff to be doing. Maybe. Um, like, if it if it hits, it's great. If it bricks the turn it comes down, then you've wasted that turn setting up for another turn later. So it's a little bit like I... Oh no, that's not the one that I meant to be putting in. Let's be honest, Loki. Trying to tell try hard Jack over there what he needs to be doing is probably more relevant than telling me because my decks are weird, so it's fine. <laughs> I was old try hard on the other end of this channel. It's like... Let's give it a uh, it, will, it will be remembered, Jack. Don't worry. All right, all today, right. Today will be remembered. Yeah. I, I think you could have definitely cast Bolas' Citadel. Yeah, or, yeah. Or like, I... I had two turns where he couldn't get in. That's why I'm asking. Uh, yeah, probably. I'd probably just slammed it. Oh my goodness, these hands keep. All right, let's go. Problem is to get as as uh, Jeff Hoogland has quite ra quite rightly said. You don't want to be mulliganing against the uh, thought erasure decks. No, absolutely not. This is very true. It's very difficult to mulligan against the thought erasure decks. Is what I should be saying. Yep. So yeah, Lucky, like, you're possibly right. I just couldn't tell you exactly what my line of thinking was because I can't remember where the where the mistake went. Did we see the thought erasure? Nope. Nope. Okay. Not, not this time. Okay. I guess that's fine. You just cast Wild Growth Walker. Sure. And your go, sir. Ooh, very nice. Super glad I did that now. Yeah, it's fine. Yep, that is also fine. Like, either way, you're getting rid of it, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, I, w I was just... Uh, I was just a little bit like... do I, I actually was like, I think I prefer to deputy it, 
but at the yep. same time, I... I'm just really good at drawing lands today, I'm not going to lie. Well, you weren't really good in game in like round one, so oh, no. clearly your, your luck has just gone thump, I'm going to flip. Yep, definitely. Okay, then. Uh, well, that's going to resolve. And I'm going to go and get, I think, it's an Island over a Swamp. Not that it super matters. I've got pretty well set up mana either way. But John was definitely hitting the right land there. That is the most important land in this deck, so... Yep, and here comes the problem. Not that you can't deal with the Vivian Reed. Yep, exactly. Seems good to me. Well, you say that. <laughs> yeah, I can I could tuck it, but I don't know if that even really gets me anything. I think I think I have to though, because I think just letting you keep draw extra cards is a really yeah. bad place to be. So the the the, the, the line I took of playing the Vivian first is going to pay off massively here because now I can cast Nissa, Nissa and kill the Teferi. Yeah, very nice. Very nice. Whereas if I had ticked up, I wouldn't be in anywhere near as bad a position. Yeah. Well, I'd have had a Vivian Reed still in play. Well, yeah, absolutely. I think that's not a nice position for you to be in. No, Let's play this precisely. branch walker. Okay, it looks like you've got your value engine online. Uh, I, mean, I am going to something. graveyard that because yeah, I, I kind of want to draw my Vivian Reed next turn. Yeah, precisely. Yep. Yep. And all I can draw is lands. Like my hand yep. is literally uh, five lands, uh, four lands. Really? Land. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Today's nice. for those who are watching. Today's been a very a masterclass in professional magic playing. <laughs> yeah. How how um, how you should be playing the game and just drawing horrendously. <laughs> um. Yeah, I am. Uh, I am super dead here. Like there is sweet FA I can do against two planeswalkers. Realistically, I have an elder spell in my deck, but yep. both of them are going to have generated so much value already that it actually probably won't end up mattering. No, I, I get to attack for nine, and the, the deputy can't block anything because the because the branch walker hit the spell. You have something, I guess. I will, yeah, I will blow up a forest at least. Yeah, that's fine. Just so that I don't... I take a little less here and maybe buy myself a turn down the line. Um, uh, black. I, I... I could have bounced the deputy to, like, take Nyssa hostage or something, but... It just feels like such a temporary solution when he's also got a Vivian Reed coming. I could have blocked bounce, couldn't I? That would have been something. Yeah, I am just... Super You're super dead. dead now. I am really dead. Oh, and there's another land. Yeah. We're super dead. Yeah, I am going to concede. That's fine. Uh, so in the end, it didn't matter, but yes. <laughs> uh, you can't you can't take the, fos uh, the, hor uh, the forest's uh, deputy. Because deputy non is non-land yeah. permanent. Hostage taker is creature or yeah. uh, uh, artifact. So I couldn't have deputied the lands, which would have been funny if if John had yeah. been like forest, 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 and then I go bounce deputy, replay deputy, whoop. But yeah, I think I've got a that. feeling they looked at that in playtesting and thought mm, maybe not. Yeah. <laughs> let's, yeah, uh, that's, let's that's not do this. Probably true. Probably true. Uh, yeah, I could absolutely have still have taken Nissa, um, and I could have done it either way round. I could have blocked bounced and then next turn take the Nissa, or yeah. I could have done it on my turn, you know, bounce it, take the Nissa so that it, uh, John can't make another free free. Yep. All of that leaves me in a really precarious position. Is it a better position than I ended up in? Yes. But I think we're talking about the difference of going from like 2% to win to 3% to win. Yeah. Um, two planeswalkers. Oh, absolutely. I had to, I should have made the bigger plays. Um, yeah, it's hard because it is. You're so far behind for the position you're in. It's really hard to get back from. Yeah. Um, yeah. I've got loads of other decks we can play if you want to play till. Uh, yeah, let's, let's play another one, and I, I, I'll play the the Esper against them because it's my real deck. But 
um, okay, let me uh, let me pull up another deck. Doesn't have the rampaging Frostdon in it. No, no, no. I'm not playing Frostdon decks. Yeah. I, I, I have exactly zero rampaging Frostdon on my arena account. Well, I had zero, but I did have like 15 rare wild cards, and I was like, mm, I have we could two test. at the moment. I have two because I like building decks, and I like having. I like playing, uh, as you've probably seen today from the three decks I picked, fairly uh, colloquial decks. So just so you, you actually know what I was playing, I was meant to be playing Green Black Citadel. Yep. Didn't ever find a Citadel. Citadel and, that, no. and that's what I was drawing to in game two over those three turns. If I find a Citadel, then you probably just die. Yeah, yeah. But I never found it. I just drew Lance instead. It's like, man, that's fine. It is what it is. But I'm, uh, I'm, I'm in the challenge when you're ready. Okay. Like I'm, I'm playing another meme deck. Oh, okay. And then, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna play Esper because I need to get my reps. Just let it. me just double check. I've actually got cyborg on this deck. Oh, you've already accepted. Right, it's fine. Let's go. Okay. No, no, it's fine. It will serve me right. Right, let's have a look. See what we can do. Right. You'll like this one. Okay. I think you'll like this deck. I will play first. I will keep this hand. <sighs> You're so close to being an excellent hand, but I think we're gonna keep you anyway. I'm gonna take a temple of. Shh. Here we go. Because what happens if a tree falls in the forest and no one's there to hear it? Does it make a noise? Okay then. Ooh, okay then. This is interesting. This is very interesting. I am one, good sir. Oh, the Temple of Shh. <laughs> uh, could we draw some shop lands here? Be... <laughs> Are you on mono, mono tap lands? Real good, right here. He's on the mono tap lands, boys. Yep. Yep. Uh, Who even I needs am... guild gates? Mirror image. Ooh, okay. Okay. Get that draw on. Get your get your trigger off your cruel celebrant. Seems nice. Right. Blue Shockland. Oh, come on. He got there, boys. <laughs> He's not super dead. All right. I want to know Just what's going on. Dead. Okay, so you could take my Kai's Wrath, my Legion's End, or my Cavalier of Night. I think it's going to be the Cavalier. Okay. Yeah, let's take this Cavalier. And that land can stay right there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, all right. And then we're going to pass the turn over. Uh, I think we are just going to lead with the Legion's End this turn. I say no, sir. You actually have main deck Dovin's vetoes. Yeah. That's really interesting. Straight up one of. I play two of. That card's great. No, yeah, nice. yeah. It's the the team has talked me down from playing it as a two of. I love it. I think it's great. The version I was playing had two. And it's Teferi. Yep. It's fine. Can I actually draw a relevant card this turn? Probably not. Dump. It's fine. We're still playing. That's a good draw. It's fine. Uh, might as well attack with this because it's probably dying next turn. Um, I think I will take the double block. Okay. Well, I will happily take out the cool celebrant. It's fine. What is Fibblefip's text? I mean, I know this isn't actually a Fibblefip, so. Whenever it's targeted, it goes back in your library. That's it. Targeted. It's not dies. It's targeted. Uh, I'm on a team with Alex and Danny. Conflict. Oh, hello. You're pretty good. Um, I would like to stop drawing lands. I think we're going to bin that. You're a good friend. Draw. Well, 
that's all right actually. Yeah. And actually, we're going to go with that and then that. Yep. Yep. Passe le turn. Oh, I so didn't have did a shock. You... I'm an idiot. I are idiot. Oh my goodness me, really? Can I stop drawing lands? Yeah, the, the, the shuffler today's been really, really bad for the both of us, because I've drawn one, two, three, seven, eight lands this game. Yeah. Oh, it goes back into... Oh, I made it yeah, it's still Fibble Fib. Yeah. It's actually interesting, because I might have traded off all my tokens, well, three of my tokens against the Bell Haunt, if you had that in hand. Yeah. Yeah, I possibly should have. That was probably actually quite dim of me. I don't really know why I did that. That was very bad. Oh, we're not dead yet. We've still got plenty of plays. Just need to find. Uh, mm. Right, well, we're going to get in there with the hero, at least, and yep. probably one of these, in case you find a removal spell. I'd rather you didn't yep. punch my Teferi. But, yeah, that was that was a really bad move. Um... I have drawn another land. We are going to go to game two. Fair enough. Yeah, we've uh, today's been strange because we just haven't drawn. No, we've not any been drawing lands. like like these are actual decks of magic cards. Um, uh, what so we'll, I still yeah. don't know what you're doing. No, that's probably a good thing. I, I just didn't draw any spells. Yeah, <laughs> I actually have some spells that are really good in the matchup. I mean, if anyone can work out what I'm playing in chat, it would be quite good. So it looks <laughs> like some sort of Esper sacrifice maybe tokens thing i'm imagining that there's some heroes in there just to make some more dudas um but i honestly don't know where you're going with it i think the fact that you've got kaya's wrath in your main board means that i kind of don't necessarily want to bring in time wipe You know what? We're going to run it back and see what you do. Okay. Well, I'd like to draw some spells. Yeah, yeah. Like that would be that would be the ideal scenario. Is drawing some spells. I would love to play first, and I would love to keep this hand. Yeah, Kethis is Abzan colors, and we saw plenty of lands and no green ones. So Kethis combo seems. It's unlikely. not Keth. It's not Kethis combo. Uh, Kethis combo doesn't play Basilica Bellhorn. That's a keep. We will keep the ever-loving whatever out of that. Uh, and that can go to the bottom, unfortunately. I still really like that card. I still think it's better than Bellhorn in this particular deck, but... Oh, yeah, I agree. Like, my, my deck is more than... My deck wants to play Basilica Bellhorn. Well, yeah, no, that's... Like, that's the, that's the thing. Like, your deck is doing something different. This deck wants the card draw from... Uh, what do you call it? Guard Mage? Yeah, it's really, Guard Mage is great in that deck. Let's see what's going on again. Oh my gold. Okay. So we've got Drawn from Dreams, which is basically fixed. Fish through time. Fixed dig through time. Fish no, 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 time. no, no. It's like fish it. through time. Fish through time. Yeah, I had no Good old Ali at the art at that, of that card. That's really quite funny. Um... Removal spell, removal spell, threat, threat. None of them super matter right now, so I'm just going to take this Cavalier of Night. I well, actually, no, you know what we're going to do? We're going to take the Basilica Bellhorn. Okay. Mm, you can go in the graveyard. Yep. I'll play this land you know about and uh, slap you attacker. around a bit. Yeah. Slap him around a bit. <laughs> End the turn. Just seems a bit mean to me. No, I agree. It's a perfectly reasonable thing to do. 
Kill him with my van one. In, in Fibblefib's only spell. It's not ability. So if, if you happen to have, say, a Teferi, Teferi I can recast it. the Fibblefib. Yeah, it yeah, goes I can back into your it. hand, yeah. Yeah, you can have another one. You can see this lovely planes I've drawn. Nice. I think I'm going to take this drawn from Dreams now. That just mm -hmm. seems like the highest likelihood of being busted. Right, that can go in the graveyard. Because I've got another one. Mm -hmm. And it can end the tap. And my mana base sitting as it does right now is another reason that I don't particularly want to play uh, Basilica Bellhorn right now. Because <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't be able to cast it next turn my, with my the basics, Glacial Fortress uh, in hand. The, dif the difference is my basics uh, are um, Plains and Swamps. Yours are Islands and Swamps. Yeah. So your your basis of your deck is built around different mana to mine. I wanted to cast Black White on turn two. So Basilica Bellhorn is a lot easier for me to deal with. Yep. <sighs> Okay, well, now regretting some life choices here. Uh, resolves? I guess I get to... Well, you either get to cast it down hmm. now, or you get to play Cavalier of Night next turn. If I if can draw, draw a land. A black source. I'm yeah, but draw. if you don't draw a black source, you can still cast it down. So. Yeah. And that's no black source. That was a pretty good draw. I'm not unhappy with that. So was that. Hello. Oh, how do we even do this? I just like to play some magic in these games rather than get <laughs> screwed around by my deck. Yep. Yeah, the uh, double thought erasure was a very was really good for you. Um, yes. Your you should have taken fish through time first. Yeah, probably. Because I did, did you have the second one in hand already? Oh yeah, yeah, I did. Um, well, they, they well, I, 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 I did have it, but at the same time, it is probably the more important one, which means that I should have taken it first. Because the next one, if you'd actually hit anything, I had the option to take something better. As it was, it turned out that you hit a planes, and I, I got to do everything I wanted anyway. Oh, well, we're doing well today. Okay. Still can't draw the fifth land. Right, I think. That's yeah, right, we'll play one more after this. I've got one more deck I want to play against you. Okay. With a sideboard. I think we're going to be in this Sauron that probably shouldn't be in the deck at the moment. Nope. Probably not. Um, no, we still got some good draws to go to. See if we can find them. We need lands first. Oh, hello. Yep. Here's Orbs. Yep. Oh, that was the best draw in the deck, except I don't have enough lands to cast it. Oh, dear. That was pretty rough. Yeah. That wasn't, that's not how those matchups go either. That's just really disappointing. Yeah. All yeah, right, like let's do the, one more. The fact that you were sitting on four land for, what, I, got, I flooded, flooded in game turns? one. I fl yeah. flooded in game one and got screwed in game two. Yeah, exactly. That's not a nice position to be in. No. Uh, so I was playing um, Esper Cavalier combo. Which so in does. in game one, if you tap out at any point, you just die on the spot, but you never did, and you were able to kill me with it, which was a little bit annoying. Okay, how okay. did what, go on then? How does it work? Right, so you have cruel celebrant, and then you cavalier of, cavalier of knights, and then you copy the cavalier of. So you need a mirror image in your graveyard, and a mirror, and then you cast a mirror image copying uh, the knight. You sack off the knight, getting back the other, getting back the. The, so you cast a mirror image top copying targeting Cavalier of Night. Yeah. So Cavalier of Night enter, it enters the Cavalier of Night. So you sack off the original Cavalier. Mm -hmm. You deal one damage to your opponent and you trigger the Cavalier, bringing back the mirror image, which yep. copies the Cavalier. Yeah. And then you just cycle through it. Yeah, yeah. That, and you kill them one at sense. a time. Oh, okay. I'm that's, ready. That's an interesting one because it's got a lot of value in the in the engine yep. part of it. Yeah, mm -hmm. I like that. 
I like yeah. that. Uh, it, it, I agree, it does if you ever draw it. Yeah. And your do opponent you, allows you to cast spells. Do you spells. want to play one more for the night? Yep. And then we'll we'll call it for the evening? Yep. Um, I'm actually going to play a proper deck, though. Uh, okay, time. then. I've played four meme decks and one with a couple of them, so I'm actually going to play a real deck now. Okay, then. Uh, to, give you, to give you some actual practice over decks you're likely to play against at the tournament, and then next Thursday we can... Well, I mean, next Thursday is, we can... Yeah, I mean, I could happily play something no, else. Play the no, deck you're, play, play the deck, play you're, the play the deck you're meant to be playing. That is, that is exactly what I wanted to hear you say. Um, it's better for you. Like, it, There's no point you playing a deck that you're not going to play. Yeah. Like, that makes no sense whatsoever. Right. I'll play first. I will keep this hand. Mm. And to be fair, I did play four decks with uh, my three decks did not contain any Teferi Time Reveler. No. I was very happy with. Well done. I was very happy yeah. with that. I think we're going to send this back. Okay, that well, I'm keeping is this one's great. Way better hand. We will keep the crap out of that one. Right. This hand is gas. Been uh, bottom the Elite Guard Mage again. That seems to be a theme for me. <laughs> yeah. Have you actually... Uh, uh, Esper Cavalier combo is... Um... Should be relatively... The only... The, the copy creature is the only one that I can think... Uh, mirror image, I think, rotates. Yeah. Um, I will play this and pass the turn. Uh... Your removal spell. Uh, if I could actually find the deck list without going into um let's... Intriguing. Right Intriguing. I'd love to hit a land. Yeah, something's been really off with the shuffler today, like it definitely feels like we've not Done anything particularly relevant? No, no. Oh well, guess we're going to continue to not particularly do anything relevant. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I'll cast another Teferi Time Raveler. Ooh. Keep the new one minus this one. Submit zero. Hey, we found a land. It's all good. <laughs> we're, play, we're playing magic, boys and girls. Playing, playing magic. magic. We're just playing some cards. Right. Well, let's uh, get rid of that Teferi Time Raveler. Yep. And let's see your Teferi Hero of Dominaria. Yeah, I'd no, love that. I, I, I'm already struggling to find lands. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. That is true. Yeah, we're not we're not doing well with lands today. Oh, you're interesting. You're so interesting, in fact, that I'm gonna bounce the Othakaya, remake Othakaya, kill my guard mage. Feel really powerful about your life. Yeah, I feel pretty good right now. Ooh, time raveler. Oath of Kaya, Oath of Kaya, dang, double Oath of Kaya. I drew, I've drawn all four to Fairy Time Ravelers so far in this game, which is not a nice position to be in. I am gonna take the veto, I believe. Yeah, you take veto in this position because it's the only double. It's the only way I double spell next turn. Yeah, exactly. Uh... If I draw a land, I can Oath and to Fairy. It's one of those things. There's not a lot I can do about that, but. It, the Dovin's Veto has allowed me to counter the, the, the comeback spell from you. Yeah. Yeah, that resolves. That's fine. Here's all done. Oh, well, I guess that's a good draw. Let's play here of Precinct 1. Yeah, that's not bad. I go with the Kaya. Yeah, that's also not bad. One good draw deserves another. Uh, yeah, I think it's just mirror image that rotates, plus obviously the lands. And you'll... the thing is, the Esper mana base becomes awful post rotation. It's a pretty naff mana base after rotation. Yeah. 
uh, obviously that depends upon um, what we see in terms of uh, lands, because yeah, obviously none of mm. like you only have a couple of them that are relevant. Right, let's go to combat. Let's all attack this. You can gain two life. I will Feel. gain two life. Feel my power. Let's do this. Yep. 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 Plus this. Um. Yeah, there's there's the on draw step four erasure. Go for it. Yep, that also seems like the best card to take. Yep. Kind of annoying. I, I, drew, I drew the land that would have allowed me to keep up all of my options, so yeah. I'm a bit like. But you get to do land thought erasure, so it's not the end of the world. You know, I have Ophakaya and Time Raveler, so eh, is what it is. I like it was a good time to have that combination. I have drawn, as I say, <laughs> four to fairy time raveler. Right, let's... Yeah, you know I've got Oath of Kaya to fairy. Yeah, I think I take the Oath of Kaya. Probably. Um, I think I'm going to leave that. No, that's going to go in the graveyard. Yep. Yeah, that's it's probably gone past that point of being good now. Well, it's more just, I, I was sitting here like, I could try and defend my deputy, but that's pointless, so. Yep, guard mage, not a bad pickup, not a bad pickup. Have you noticed the life totals we're at at the moment? Oh yeah, with this, with this deck, <laughs> I have literally just stopped noticing my life total. It does not matter. No. Um, like eventually they will, but right now they really don't matter. Yep. Well, I'll have my Teferi. Yeah, I couldn't thought erasure it, and you thought erasure mine, and now I die. No, not yet. I'll attack you too. <sighs> oh. It's not looking good for our intrepid hero. Yeah, that might close out the game next turn. Let's. Let's do yep. this. I am going to minus and bounce this. I have some insurance against things. I mean, conflict. I'm not against that though, because uh, as long as as long as the whole format slows down, the temples are just really good in decks like this. So, temples are amazing. Yeah, temples are one of my favourite lands in the game, mm. Mm. and it's, it's not even close. Like I love what they do for the game. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, I think I meant to oath your deputy now. Yeah, just to up your Teferi to five loyalty. Yeah. Or even this tick one. it down to get your oath of Kaya back. Either way works. Oh, um, yeah. Like, I, yeah, I don't hate that move. Uh, I'm I'm a massive fan of the temples. Like, I love the temple cycle. I always have done. They're one of my favourite lands in the game full stop. Yeah, so, I think that if you... Have a have a game where your opponent's going to like if you're playing a Riven Reef Mirror, then it, Risen Reef Mirror, then it's great. The monocolor decks will still be monocolor, but it doesn't. But no one knows exactly how they're going to look. Probably your cavalcade. You'll probably end up more in cavalcade red rather than. Um. So you'll probably end. Sorry, you'll probably end up more in cavalcade red than uh, mono red because obviously you're losing so many cards from Dominaria. Obviously, the Cavalcade deck doesn't lose a lot because a lot of the Cavalcade one-power deck is based on the current format because of the way it's been put together. You lose a few things, like you lose the uh, the pirate, the, the the goblin pirate, but you... I was looking at a couple of lists today that have gone up. There are ones like that. I love the fact that the temples are, are in standard. I actually think the temples make the mid-range decks more powerful that's, when the that's format slows down. As well. the, so the, the, the point you make, though, the monocolor decks won't necessarily slow down because of their mana bases but 
they will be losing some number of decent cards come rotation. So yep. until the mana bases get back to the point where they're faster back when we have an array set standard. What, what oh yeah, hopefully... the th- like my... format slowly slow down. Like yeah. take okay, think think back to uh, when Ravnica got released and we had the rotation. Mm-hmm. What was the best? What were the best two decks? Green black mid range with fine finality carnage tyrant and yeah. and uh, Jeskai control. We're gonna keep this. In essence, they were the best decks. I'm Mulligan. I've got a one lander, uh, and that's also a one lander. Looks like we're going down to five. Uh, well, you might have a we little bit lands. of time to get out of this, but uh, yeah, that's pretty rough. Hey, it's fine. It, it's part of the game, right? Yep, yeah, absolutely. Uh, it depends on how good the monocolor, monocolor decks are, as to how I'm trying to word him things right. If the monocolor decks are good, then you're, then you're going to be in a really good position. Um, it depends on if you can build them. Mono white probably just dies because you lose m- the, most of the Dominaria stuff that made it powerful, plus Ixalan. Vampire ceases to exist in its current iteration. You might find Sorry more as a mid-range card uh, because you have things like Night, Night Veil Predator and stuff like that. Uh, you'll probably lose Mono Red almost, as, almost in its entirety. Seems reasonable. So I say I'm I'm really looking forward to the way the new format shakes out. Uh, I just can't wait to get rid of some of the nonsense we deal with now. But then that's how magic evolves. Yeah, absolutely. I would definitely be interested in playing. Um... Why would you shock in? Have you got a spell? Have you? Are you really well, playing spell? I don't spell have any pit? white sources other than the shock. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I was like, are you playing spell piss? <laughs> are you that sort of monster? <laughs> or I you're am, playing spell but pit? no, not today. Sure. Uh, that's attack. Um, I like. I like being in a position where you have a very strong. Sure. I don't know what you're taking. Oh, me neither. I mean, if you want to go to Svavi, I'll take the Oath of Kaya. Yeah, I think I kind of do. Mm-hmm. And that can stay right there. That's not good for me. <sighs> Well, guess we'll make another time, brother. Conflict, yes, on all points, good sir. Keep this one. Minus this, target this. Two. Attack for two. Double tilt. Yeah, standard so much. I, I prefer standard to modern just because modern's a, a pile at the <laughs> moment. It it really is though. Like it's such a weird it format. Is, like... It is, and I don't get why it's so popular. Like really, I don't get why it's so popular as a competitive format. I get why it's popular as a thing to play. Oh yeah, I completely agree. It's a great format in that regard. But I'll take the trade here. Yeah, obvious. Um but yeah, I don't I don't get why people think it's a good way to play competitive magic just because yeah like it it has all of these issues that get resolved with rotational formats right yeah and it's always fresh and it's new and even if you get to and as we and, and one of the biggest problems that we've had with standards past like when Hazaret was thing is the same deck would be great for the same amount of time yeah whereas now we've had three best decks in, or four best decks in the last four the last four sets which is Something that we haven't ever really heard of before. Hmm. It must be nice. Well, well, are you joining um, me here? Join I me. certainly am. <laughs> I am going to join you in the bowl. I mean, my one fight. missed. So uh, if you've got a hit, you're doing better than oh, yeah. that's a hit. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a uh, Liliana Dreadhorde General. I don't know why it just showed me like the top six cards on my deck. Oh, yeah, that's weird. Uh, cancel that. Right, okay. Uh, let's go to combat. Let's attack with everything. Yeah, or try and turn down my uh, citadel. I mean, I... I'll draw cards. Yeah, yeah. Clear the top of that library so you can continue playing things. Oh, well. Yeah, so my, I have a one of Liliana Dreadhorde General over the fourth Teferi Hero of Dominaria. Yeah. I don't know if it's right, but it feels good. It... it... 
does feel pretty right at the moment, I will say that. Um, right. And I, I tell you what, I've played games where I've cast that on turn six and won the game in game one because it's so hard to kill in game one. Mm. I actually think it might be the best card in the deck in the mirror to just break the mirrors open. I'm actually going to do this now. I should have done that a second. You beautiful... That wasn't a very nice thing to say. You can you can have your cards, good sir. Sir. You may have your cards, That's sir. Fine. Uh... Okay, sure. I'm surprised you didn't kill Bolas' Citadel. Oh, yeah. On reflection, I could punch the Liliana. I can't punch the Bolas' Citadel. Yep. Agreed. Oh, well. Uh, yeah, why not? But we can bounce it back to your hand. Yeah, well, when you find that card on top, sure, why not? <laughs> so every, go. every card that I actually drew, drew there, yeah, it was oh. a land. <laughs> yep. Just tap, so you go. I think we might be dead here. Because I have so many lands with my Citadel of Bolas. Yeah. Oh yeah, I don't have the. Yeah, yeah, cool. Thank you for doing that deck. That is handy. For doing what? Telling you you can't cast things. Not, not letting me cast a thing. <laughs> it's probably a good thing to do. <laughs> uh, right. How many non-land permanents do I currently have? You need One, ten. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. With the bonus no, of you, Citadel. No, it doesn't count itself. Oh yeah. Sacrifice 10 non-land permanents. I can just sacrifice 10. Oh, land. sure, yeah, yeah. yeah. You can it, sacrifice yourself, so you need can, two more. Yeah, I need two more. Uh, might so be guess... doable. Let's start here. Here's one more. Mm -hmm. Oh, two more, because yeah, of the yeah, hero. Yeah, it, yeah, I've got double hero. For some reason, my brain was only doing the maths on there being one hero in play. play. Cool. Got oh, from Mulligan to five, that game was pretty close. Yeah, yeah. If my if my Citadel of Bolas was slightly better, well, I might have actually Mulligan won to that five, one. and I thought erased you. Let's let's not yeah. forget that you yeah, you held me really hard to that one. Um, let's try that. Let's try and go really over the top of what my opponent's doing. Yeah, I mean that's I mean. My real problem in conflict with the format is that I am very much a guy who wants to play the best deck. And the problem is in playing modern, if you find the best deck and it is clearly the best deck, it's going to get banned. <laughs> so, yeah. It's a bit that like, is a small problem. Brrr. It's definitely a problem with... That is a problem with modern. Like, if you do go into the best decks, you might end up just with the deck not being legal anymore. I'm going to keep this. It's not good, though. Like, in this matchup... I know that I need to keep all of these cards in, but it doesn't. It's kind of like you don't want to mulligan against the thought erasure. Deck. Oh, absolutely. I had to mulligan. Yeah. I had to mulligan two hands because they kept a one lander well, because they were both one lands. Yeah, this is it. It's I don't want to mulligan this mediocre hand into a hand that basically doesn't work, and then I'm mulligan to five against the thought erasure deck. Yep, like, that would be awful. All right. Let's kill that before you can get some value yeah. out of it. Yeah, so at the moment, like my um, my modern decks are things like Night uh, Nightfall and well, I used to have Scapeshift, but I play the Green White Collector Company lists because they just aren't gonna ever get aren't ever gonna get banned because they are fair as anything. Some of the fairest game, fairest decks in the format. All right, let's do this. Okay. Yep. I yeah. And I actually think Jund is now in a really good position because of the... Oh, that's a tilt. I, I think Jund is now in a really good position with the, the Hogek banning. Like, yeah. Other than the other than the problem that is uh, Urza Thopter Sword... Yeah, we'll see. Like, but the thing is, you can, you can play around Urza Thopter Sword. You can mm. build your decks to have more artifact removal like that's 
that is a part yeah, of the game. Yeah, playing around Hogate, everyone was already trying to play around Hogate with like mainline Leyline of the Void. Yeah, and... you're playing main deck Leyline of the Void is not fun. No. No. So it's kind of not. like that you just have to take a pinch of, take it with a pinch of salt and go, oh, well, I didn't have everything I wanted to. Oh, well, it is what it is. Yeah, precisely, right? That's That's kind of where I'm at as well. I don't have it. Dang it. Oh, intriguing. Um, yeah, all right, sure. I'm obviously super sending to just send, uh, tempted to send it back, but I think actually it's just safer to tick my fairy up and kill it. Sure. Yeah. That's fine. Keeps Teferi safe from Oath of Kaya. Oh, hello, Liliana. You are a magic card that exists. I love this card so much. She's so good. Yep. Alright then. What we got? I mean, it's not nothing, but it's not a solution to the problem. This is at best a temporary solution to the problem. Yep. But I will I will take a temporary solution at this point. Yep. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Hundred percent temporary. Liliana's just also a great top decks in a lot of matchups as well. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, and like you say, Conflict Diamond, you've got Oof, K Command Scoos. Um, you also have Force of Vigor as another card that's great in those matchups. Uh, so you have Force of Vigor, you have uh, Ancient Grudge in Jund. Like, all of these cards are really good in those matchups. So there's a definitely there's definitely a line where it's just like I just played more stuff. Liliana's great because she does she makes them sack off the either the the uh, construct or the Urza. Yeah. But Urza is such a good card in those matchups that it's really scary to play against. No! Got him! My, my top deck better this it. game. No! We needed that card! My top decks are better, boys. It's fine, just rip the next one. <laughs> Lol. No, see what the, he has. the deck the deck only runs one because I put a second. But you only run one? Yeah. Oh, you madman, I have two. Yeah. See, the problem is there's just a ton of top ends then in the deck. Oh, don't worry, mate. You have no idea what top ends in this deck right now. Uh, let me introduce you to Ethereal Absolution. Oh, for fuck. How many six drops do you have? <laughs> Three. So I've got five I've got five six drops after board. Yeah. That just seems yep. And how do you think and how have the, how has this match gone? I have played two haymakers. Oh, absolutely! And you have a My problem raveler. is like, how do you do against anything like an aggro? Deck? But they're in the sideboard. But they're in the sideboard. Yeah, but you still got three in your main deck, right? Yeah, and but, three but to varies. Yes, but then look at the look at how the rest of the decks built. I mean, yeah, in the same way mine is, and I still die to an aggro deck. But then, so okay, so all right, okay. So, here's the so if I'm still dying to an aggro deck, why not beat the yeah. main <laughs> decks? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Like, you're already... Uh, because my teammate told me I needed to play more two drops, so I'm not going to... Um... Let's deal with that right now. Two drops, that's fine. Right, so I just need to choose a land. Uh, yes. Annoyingly, I want to choose the tap one. I mean, don't get me wrong, this game's over. Yeah, yeah. Ulti like the, ulti you ulti 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 and you took my only way of dealing with it, so I am super fucking dead here. But yep. And you can already activate the Ethereal Absolution to make two twos. Yep. So I will... When, when we finish this match, I'll go through my... I'll go through my deck, and... Uh, I'll, I'll explain my deck. So I'm, I'm very much of the opinion that in the mid-range matchups, you need to go bigger than your opponent. Yeah, absolutely. So Ethereal Absolution, I think, is a fine card. So so my main deck is, um, and this is where obviously we'll, we will differ. So my main deck is four Hero, two Noxious Grasps, two Dovin's Veto, mm. four Thought Erasure, three Tyrant Scorn, two Deputy Detention, 
four to fairy time rabbler three earth Akaya, four guard mage three to fairy two bowler citadel and one liliana mm-hmm. and 26 lands pretty similar to yours uh yes aside from you've got four hero four four to fairy hero of dominaria and one no i don't i only have three of those so i'm running uh only one noxious grasp only one dovin's veto i'm running the fourth tyrant scorn though sure uh, as a hedge against there being more red coming up than there will be yes which i think i'll need to change my deck to only have one noxious grasp and i i I agree with that change i just didn't have the chance to do it prior to this uh i've only got three elite guard mages in here as opposed to your four Maybe that should go up. I've got two Sorin because it works really nicely with Deputy. Um, you have two Sorin. I've got two Sorin, Vengeful Oof. Blood Lord. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Uh, only three to Fairy, and then uh, yeah, with just the one Bolus's Citadel. So I okay. do kind of. I would prefer to go up to two Bolus's Citadel, and probably. I think you're absolutely Sorins. fine too. I don't think you need two Sorin. I'm not particularly enamored with that card. No, I understand why I, it's good. I t- I've been testing it. And I liked it initially. The more I play with it, the less impressed I am. Um, the thing that I will say is in the sideboard, instead of like Liliana's, I've got Ugin because Ugin will deal with yep. your Bolas's Citadels and your yes. Experimental Frenzies if yep. for whatever reason you end up having to bring him in for the Experimental Frenzies. Yep. So I actually quite like Ugin over Liliana. But okay. like either, so, either way, I think you're happy. Yeah, so my sideboard is two Witch Figures... Two Duress, two Devout Decree, one Elder Spell, one D Spark, one Golden Demise, two Kaya's Wrath, two Ethereal Absolution. Mm. Uh, I, the reason I think you play Golden Demise over Cry of the Canarium is because you can trigger the uh, ability to not have your stuff die. Uh, yeah, Golden Demise over Cry. Yeah, yeah absolutely. So my, and I've my got, sideboard and I've got, was very sorry, similar. Sorry, carry on. But my last two are two Narset Part of Veils. Yeah, my, my sideboard was very similar. Uh, it's now a little different. I've got two Duress, an Elder Spell, Dovin's Veto, D-Spark, two Narsets, two Ashiox. Yeah, so I think that's where some of this needs to change. Is that I don't have the Ashiox in there. Yeah, I I think Ashiox are very good at the moment. Two Hostage yep. Takers, two Time Wipes, and two Ugin the Ineffables. Um, yeah, so, it's in, so yeah, so it, it depends on if you want to run. So the the questions you basically ask yourself at this point are: Am I running Kaya's Wrath or am I running uh, Time Wipe? Time Wipe might be. I like Kaya's Wrath slightly more because it's a four drop removal spell. Oh, absolutely. My issue is the severe dearth of actual threats in the deck. Yes. Um, and yeah. sometimes you against the decks that you want to wrath them, you want to then kill them relatively quickly, like not mm-hmm. at lightning speed, but you do want to be able to kill them at. At a reasonable clip. I also yep. really like the interplay between Time Wipe and uh, your uh, deputies. Sure, yeah, yeah. You know, bouncing back that. to Hound and your creature's then still going to die. Yep. Um, and then you can replay it. And then you get to replay it. And you've, what you've done is you just put a removal spell back in your hand, which is yep. really, really nice. But, and that's what you need against the Scape Shift X. Oh, well, yeah, exactly. Exactly. To be able to go, okay, I've wiped you once with the, the deputy playing it. I'm going to wipe you again with a time wipe and put deputy back in my hand, which means that I still have another board wipe in my hand, even though you know about it. What are you going to do? Are you going to not try and go off here? Um, yeah. They would have to try and play the long value game, and it's like, I can play that game. Yeah. Not as well necessarily as them, but I do get to play it. So I actually quite like the sideboard here. I will say that I do like the golden demises, and I do kind of miss them. But I, I think, think you might need them because if so. mono red, if mono red is on the rise, then golden demise is a great way of meaning that your removal spells can target the right thing. Mm. Mm. Because one of the things at the moment is you kind of have to use like your three mana at the or um, tyrant scorns on the little creatures. Yeah, tyrant because... scorns and oath of Kaya's need to be pointed at the little stuff, which is not what you want. You want to be able to point them at. The well, you want to point them at rampaging ferocidon. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So having the ability to have a golden demise is, is another way of looking around the one. I think there's some check, like I think you can build these decks in so many different ways right oh, now. It's really good. I like the Liliana because I like just having a massive card at the top end. Yep. Um, but again, it, it's what are you fighting? Generally, I end up fighting a lot more. I like I like having things that go over the top of the mirror. And I have played mirrors before where I've made Liliana on six and the game's just ended. Yep. Because you're both out of, you're both very. And it, the other reason as well is when it comes down to it, when you're playing your um, your late game, I cast Liliana, 
your and you cast like what, what the, the 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 value of your top decks goes up so much more when you mm. have access to five six drops yeah oh, and absolutely. that might i can understand why it's too many but when i mean my sideboard plan i boarded out all four of my hit or um i boarded out the uh the deputies i boarded out the deputies i boarded out some number of guard mage i boarded out some number of heroes yeah because it just i just don't think heroes good in the mirror it actually really isn't um there's the too idea, many ways to kill it yeah exactly the idea that i kept it in was that if it gets to run away with the game you're probably sure. not bringing in wraths against me and you've got to fight me on a one-to-one -one yep. basis the sure. problem is the one ones get outsized real quick by anything yeah um, yeah and that's and one of the things a ton of two two tokens already you know so yeah and and also that's the other reason why ethereal absolution is great because i just don't care about your one ones yeah yeah exactly like, sure, you can keep this. Make my ethereal absolution crack on, sir. Yeah. So, no, I, after tonight's testing, I will be making some, some more adjustments. I've already adjusted the, the main deck, taking out those Sorins, putting an elite guard mage and another Bolus's Citadel. Um, yeah, I think it's, it's, it's a weird one. I like, but I like the second Bolus Citadel because if you're bad against the aggro decks already, why make yourself try, why, why try and make. Yeah. Why try and be better against your deck you're already bad against? I don't think the deck's bad against the aggro decks. I think you're absolutely fine. And I don't think changing a, a Sorin to a Bola Citadel makes it any... I don't think Bola Citadel's that bad in the aggro matchups anyway. Because things like Oath of Kaya replace themselves. Yeah. Yeah. And you can have... you. It's not a great card in those matchups. But... Is it better than Sorin? Sorin might be being played onto an empty board, get something back, that dies again. That's just how efficient the mono red lists are. Oh, absolutely. Whereas, yeah. Which is what, and also if you if you then play if you play for example the mirror, then your Sorin is a lot worse. Mm. It doesn't really do anything. No, I think that was. I think my fear was the deck has always felt really good in grindy fights, mm -hmm. and then died make to it go over aggro. the top. And yeah, I think maybe what I should just just do is just say, okay, if I'm going to lose the aggro games, I'm going to lose the aggro games. But but and I but I don't think you do. I think no. the way that you change the deck to uh, the the thing is you need if you want to beat the aggro decks, you need more in the sideboard, which is why I have the witch figures. Yeah, what are these? This figure. Oh, this figure. Sorry. Which yes. which, which figure? Oh, this figure. Okay. I was so I've got I have two disc figures in the sideboard and two duress. Yeah. Um. It, I, as I say, I think your aggro matchup's fine already, um, and you get to board in the the duresses and so pretty much when you play against an aggro deck in my deck, I'm boarding in two disfigure, two duress, two Kaya's wrath, and I'm boarding out the Bolus of Citadels, the Liliana Dreadhorde General, uh, probably the Deputies because I don't think that card's good in the matchup. It's a three toughness creature that doesn't do anything. Yep. So you just bring in wrath effect. You bring in a couple of wraths, and you bring or you're going to bring in your time wipes. And you're bringing in your duresses and your disfigures. The disfigure allows you to cast a spell early, and it's yeah. not again. It's it's making your deck more adapted to deal with Ferocidon, because disfigure kills everything else. Yeah, so you get to save. And it, and it also catches the. Um, it also allows you to not lose any life to your lands to kill the um, steam uh, runaway steamkin. Yeah, because you go tap I... tap land tap land, and you don't lose any life. So I did you, notice that it, earlier. Yeah, that felt pretty yeah. rough when you did it against me. Yeah. Yeah. So it, it's a way that you get to save yourself life, and you're like, "Well, I just killed one of your threats." And I also have this tyrant scorn for when you do cast your Ferocidon, and I just go, "Cool," and that's now dead. And I've also saved everything else that I need. Like your Teferi can now target the. Uh, now your Teferi can go after resetting things. Your Teferi can go up rather than having to instantly down tick on something. Yeah. So it just it just plays slightly more powerful into the deck. I like I like this figure a lot right now. It. It allows you to kill mana accelerators on the draw. Mm. It kills a land of else, which is really good. Yeah. And it also kills a Danto Vanguard. Yes. Which yeah. can be another problematic card. Yeah, fair enough. But yeah. Uh, thank you for helping me test towards the end of the evening there, John. That was super Great. handy. Um, if you want, if you ever want me to build actual decks for these things, then tell me and I'll build uh, them. Yeah, yeah. Like this week, decks. this week I wanted to surprise you with some ram, uh, sure. some rampaging frostodons. I didn't want to be like, which is John, absolutely fun. Build some decks that can fight against rampaging frostodons. I won't tell you why, <laughs> because yeah. that one's super obvious. But next time we do it, we'll we'll have a little bit more fun. Um, As I say, I can't build a field. I could, if you, I could have built field, but then I'm fairly sure I just lose to the frostodons with oh, field. Oh yeah. 
Like, like I'm fairly sure that's just a, a garbage fire reason, anyway. The reason it is back in the format. That is the reason what he gave for putting yeah, for us which is back great. in the format. Yeah, um, which is great. Whereas something like um, your, uh, which is why your green ramp lists are fine against Frostodon because you they make a Frostodon, you make a Cavalier of Thorns. It's like cool. I lost a life and I made a five six. Yeah, 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 exactly. And I got a land into play, and I haven't, and I've. You, you get you get my you yeah. get my gist. I do think that the sounds strange. I like playing like a soul tide ramp list rather than a bant ramp list because you get access to actual removal spells against yeah. Ferocidon. Yeah, so yeah, your yeah. cut your crazes actually gains you life. Yes. I might have a look at like a soul tide ramp list because I don't think you gain that much being outside of bant colors. Like you lose to fairy, but then to fairy's not good against um, isn't good against Ferocidon. Mm. No, it's because if you if you bounce the Ferocidon, it's probably your Teferi's probably going to die again anyway, and they're just going to me rate. The, it's the same Chain Whirler problem. You can't bounce a Chain Whirler. And but then Teferi, Teferi to make I think it. Teferi time rather is awful in the aggro matchups, and I'm very happy to board a lot of them out because See, it's like, it. cool, you I, bounced it. I agree with that, and yet Sahar hates it as mono red. She hates playing against. Teferi and I and I've never understood I why. I can't get why. No, I always, I always feel massively disadvantaged when I'm like, well, I have to make this turn free play, and it's going to be my Teferi, and like, what's the most important thing it can do? It's going to bounce some piece of junk. And but it's... also, but also, the other side of it is, if you're in game one, your opponent plays a Teferi and ticks it. It's like, cool, send everything to the face again. You, yeah, you've, exactly. You've paid three mana and done nothing yeah. in the game, and that's an, that's another way. I, I'm, I mean, I board out most of my Teferi time ravelers in aggro matchups and bring in things that actually do something. Yeah. No, absolutely. Um, but yeah, anyway, thank you very much, John. Uh, obviously, uh, your Twitter handle is on the screen for anyone who wants to follow you on Twitter at jpartridgemtg, as is mine. Yep. Uh, if you're following us on, if you're watching this on YouTube, please do hit that subscribe button. It really helps out a ton. And the like uh, button. And yeah, the like button is also super handy. And just tell people what we're trying to do here. Like we're trying to play, you know, uh, magic while both of us are describing what's going on and that kind of thing and just give you a, a, a different way of viewing magic um, that's kind of my my goal at the yes. moment to give to give Pretty people good. more than just i played five matches with the deck here it is yeah like as much as i love watching things like that it shouldn't be all of what magic uh no, content is uh the podcast is now out on axiom now so if you want to head over to axiomnow.com and hear our thoughts on the bannings and unbannings i mean you've heard a fair number of them tonight but we go through in more detail the modern stuff and uh obviously the frost on stuff is just it's really important for both myself and john because we we both really like standard yeah, i think it's, i think it was i think the the bnr announcements were very good yes for standard and modern vintage i know little about so no, i'll assume that they're correct with yeah. what they've been doing um yeah i like it i think it's gonna be interesting well especially this weekend at dark sphere being the uh obviously you've got the dark sphere mcq this MCQ. weekend and mm -hmm. there's no hog act and there's no faithless looting so and there's now stoneforge mystic so it's gonna be really interesting yeah. Oh, fandoms on Thursday as well. Yeah, yeah that's the. Yeah. I mean, like, I'm free. Mon I'm, fr I'm free to do this Mondays, like I've always said, which was something we did discuss. I will see if I can move date night. <laughs> Let's see what we can do. Maybe this we'll get is, yeah. more people watching if if we're not clashing with SCG and fandom. Yeah, no, that's, that is shell. true. That is very true. That's a good. That's a good it's suggestion. A good, it's a good point. Conflict. Yeah, I knew about SCG live, obviously, but yeah, clashing with fandom as well is like uh, it's one big community event one, one yeah. extra big community event that i don't want to clash with but Agreed. thank you all very much for joining us tonight i hope you've enjoyed yes. uh watching the ferocidon testing and then some testing of the esper deck thanks again yep. to john i think you should play esper definitely at the tournament i think it's a very oh. good a very good deck to be playing at the um the axiom now event if you yeah. can get all the cards for it i think it's yeah. very good and i'd be very happy to play that deck and not to put too fine a point on it, but it's what I've been playing for the last, you know, yeah. six-ish months now, yep. <laughs> like on and, and off. And uh, stick to it. Yeah, exactly. I'm going to stick to what I know. Thank you all very much for watching, however, and we will see you next time. Yes. Bye.